Welcome to Seven Sided Die's Carpathian Adventure. Travel back 700 years to the early 1300s. Castles like this dot the countryside. The Hungarian Empire or Carpathian Empire is at its zenith. The nascent Ottomans are on the rise, but neither Holy nor Roman nor an empire. Holy Roman Empire battles within. England and France fight one another. As the Templars recede into history, the Teutons are on the rise. Welcome to the Carpathian Adventure. This was a great hall. There would have been a roaring fire. It would have been adorned with gothic windows. This might be where our adventuring party might gather. Let's meet them. My name is Virexen. I am a monk who was exiled into Greece after fleeing my homeland. I was sent on a quest via a dream I received. I went in search of great heroes I saw in the dream to help stop some monstrosity from wreaking havoc across the world. I found those heroes in the Champions of the Sun. Now I strive to gain their trust so they can one day help me defeat the vile beast that threatens everything. I am Kip Kaelin, Ranger of the North, and I am lost, hailing all the way from Garen in Scotland. I have faced great tragedy, losing all those dear to me. I am haunted by that fateful night and what was taken from me. I face defeat at every turn, attempting to enact revenge on those that did this to us. And when all my strength, resources, and allies, save for my trusted wolf Lycoa, was depleted, I stumbled upon the Champions of the Sun at the Battle of Sagut. I decided to ally myself with these seemingly capable and worthy adventurers to aid me in putting the loss to rest. It is what she would want, or so she seems to indicate. I am Balder, a Norseman, a soldier, and an eldritch knight. I left my home to leave politics behind, only to be dogged by it across Europe. I first met the Champions of the Sun outside a small town in Hungary. Together, we battled Ottoman raiders and vampires. The champions gave me purpose again, and where it takes me I know not, but I know I want to be a part of it. My name is Jumnus Dawnflower. I used to be a merchant sailor until I was shipwrecked on a strange island and killed in a sacrificial blood ritual. In the moment between life and death, an otherworldly goddess of light came to me, offering me a second chance at life. I swore to enact her will upon the world. Now I travel with the champions of the sun, looking to right wrongs, vanquish evil, and earn the new life I've been given. I am Borinth, the cave bear. I come from a tribe of barbarians that once lived in the mountains of the Badenweiler. While on my sacred spirit quest, my tribe and family were attacked with none left alive. I now seek the power to avenge my people. With my rage, I grow stronger. And with the Champions of the Sun, I seek a path to restore and preserve my people's culture and rid this world of any evil that stands in my way. Aha, hello friends. You can call me Luvia Moreau. I come from the beautiful country of France, of course! Traveling as a salesman, banished from my home, where by the hand of my twisted sister, my father was killed, and I was implicated. Mon dieu, how low I've come. But in that law, I found the champions of the sun. Although they may not smell like sweet wine, they are honorable. Uh, mostly. I am Matthias, of the House of Bathory. Knight Baron of Carpathia. With my traveling companion, Ambria, I was dragged into a whirlwind path, 
by a rogue monk. But those I have met since then have earned my respect and, more importantly, my trust. Welcome to the Carpathian Adventure. Welcome. I'm Tom. After a long break, we're back. Thank you for joining us. We're a group of gamers who get together in real life to play Dungeons and Dragons. Some of us are military, some are in construction, IT, others retail managers, a few are parents, students, etc. So we do this strictly for fun. We hope you enjoy it nonetheless. There were quite a few thank yous in our open, except one, you. We would like to thank you, our Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook followers, as well as our YouTube subscribers and our Periscope viewers. And thank you for joining us. To those who have not already, please follow us on Twitch, Instagram, and on Twitter. Please like on YouTube and Facebook. And of course, please subscribe on YouTube. Uh, we checked out the connectivity on Periscope, and you can watch our stream live there as well, although uh, no, none of the streams are archived on, on Periscope. It's pretty much uh, fire and forget. If during the stream you follow on Twitch or if you subscribe on YouTube, your username will pop up on the screen. I think in this screen it pops up right down below in the middle and on the one with the players it pops up in between them. Please know that during the stream, some of us are watching it. In particular, some of us are watching it on our phones and uh, watching Twitch in particular. So please feel free if you want to interact with us, please feel free to comment or ask questions. While live, if we catch it, uh, we will endeavor to answer your questions as long as they are appropriate questions. To all of our subscribers, thank you. What happened the last episode? It has been a while. For that, we're sorry. The party has been making their way from Venice to the Untersberg Mountain on the northern side of the Alps. Crossing Trent and the Tyrol, they entered the Archbishopric of Salzburg. High up in the bitter cold Alps last session, the party fought more Remoraz outside of the Berg Caprun. Then they stayed at an inn in the fortress. While there, they met with the Lord of the Berg, Sigebox von Falkenstein, detailing their journeys and informing the Lord of the danger posed by Bayou Osman Ghazi. Realizing the gravity of the situation, von Falkenstein gave them a letter of introduction to the Prince Archbishop of Salzburg. After a long rest, the party continued their trek through the Alps, at one point, the thick, crust-covered snow started to give way, and some almost slipped beneath the surface. Descending from the Alps, the party made their way to another castle, Schloss Hohenwerfen. Having just arrived, and after checking in at the tavern Das Burgrand, or the Mountain's Edge, the party took their letter of introduction to the keep. There they met with, and are meeting with now Prince Archbishop himself, Gephard of Salzburg. With Gephard is a white dragon who goes by the name Dreit Posanlichkeit. However, Dreit looks remarkably like another dragon the party met a short while ago, albeit named Identistatsorung. Say that ten times fast. <laughs> After learning of Osman Ghazi, and so that they might elevate the information even higher, the Archbishop, Prince Archbishop, said he would give the party a letter of introduction to the Holy Roman Emperor, though he would leave the name of the Emperor somewhat nebulous, as there is some question as to who that is, Louis IV of Bavaria, or Frederick the Fair, the Duke of Austria and Styria. The Archbishop also said he would give them a letter of introduction to the Pope as well. However, and again, Gephard did not indicate the name. As there is a Pope John XXII in Avignon and an anti-Pope Nicholas V, formerly Pietro Rinalducci, supposedly in Nuremberg. 
in the midst of the meeting which the Prince Archbishop Gephard of Salzburg and Dwight Persanelich Kreis, the White Dragon, we rejoin the party in progress. Jess, good seeing you again. Good seeing you. And Welcome Reiner, back. thank you very much. Hey. Appreciate it. Good seeing you, albeit via, via the, the magic of technology that is so far working. Good seeing you. Okay, you are inside... You are inside the castle. You can see your figures on the, or at least you can, Jeff. Mm -hmm. I think, Reiner, you might be able to. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Uh, you can see yourselves. You are there inside the castle talking with. The Archbishop. Talking with the Archbishop. So we, we have. Her. Yep, I'm here. Yeah, we have we have our letters. Now we must determine which way we are going to go from here. Yes. We have th three yeah. letters and three choices. Um, are you staying very long in town? Uh, we may be here for a short while. Depends on what everybody else's feelings are about how soon we should get out of here. Huh? I'm just kind of along for the ride at, at this point. I, I just met these guys a couple weeks ago. And you, uh, Matthias Bathory, how long are you in town for? Unfortunately, I cannot say for certain. Not long, though. Okay. Uh, there is a good uh, tavern in town. Um, at the Burgrand uh, It's pretty good. Or well, Mountain's Edge. And um, for now, then... Uh, unless there's something else I can do for you, uh, I bid you adieu. Uh, I'll uh, direct myself to the dragon. I do, I do have one question that maybe you can answer for me. Not, not many yes. have any, any clue. I have this, this manuscript that is in a, a language or a code that I cannot decipher, and I was wondering if you could be of any help. And what is this manuscript? Oh, I'm, I, I am not sure. It was in my, my old teacher's possession. Uh, I, do not, I do not know what it contains. Can you help, help the DM out? What, <laughs> what is it? Uh, the manuscript from my uh, teacher that I had. Oh, okay. Aragon. Uh, it might take a while, but I can take a look at it. Oh, I... I hate to part with it, but I, I could leave it in your possession until I have to leave, I suppose. Mm. I'll, I'll, I'll dig it out and I'll hold it up. He reaches oh. out with a huge claw and it, it's tiny in his, in his yeah. massive, <laughs> massive hand as you trepidatiously put it toward him. Make his giant dragon's hand, probably larger than, well, about half your size, yeah. arguably. <laughs> Uh, reaches out and takes it from you, and he sniffs it and looks at it, and, uh... Mm. Well, can you tell me anything more about it? Well, my... teacher comes... from the islands... off of Greece, and... He, uh... Honestly, he doesn't know that I took it, and I believe that it may contain something very, very foul indeed, but it is, it is beyond my comprehension. I can only hope for somebody that can translate it, or, or lead me to somebody that can translate it. Hey, Reiner? Yes? Can you mute your mic when you're not <laughs> talking? That's it. That's it. Sorry. It's, it sounds as if you have indigestion. <laughs> yes, there's a truck going through your stomach or something like that. Very well. I will take a look at it. Um, will you be staying long in town? I think we will be here at least a few days. Okay. Yes, indeed. Um, the character sheet. If you haven't updated, if you would update your current hit points on it, if there's anything else. And Archbishop looks to the two of you. Is there anything else then? 
I, I do not believe so. We'll make our way to the tavern, I suppose. Very well. And he bids you adieu then. You make your way out into the... into the... the outside. It's actually getting much nicer out now than it was, now that you've descended in altitude somewhat. Take it. You, you, you travel through the small, the small castle, uh, Schloss Hohenwerfen. And what was the name of the tavern? The Mountain's Edge? Mountain's yes, he, that's what he told you. He told you it was called Burgrand or the Mountain's Edge. Seems like it might have at least a, a nice view with a name like that. You make your way toward it, and you see a sign. It's a fairly compact, um, oh, there it is, so Schloss Hohenberg. Mm -hmm. That's what the castle looks like. Fairly compact. So it's, it's a few narrow turns inside mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. the, the keep itself, and then you see a sign a, a, a wooden sign, finely carved, with the, the edge of a mountain leaning off. And you gather that that's probably the tavern itself. You go in. Yes, o open the door. It seems like it's Absolutely. a fairly um, raucous place, hopefully, maybe. I will, I will look for a quieter table in the, in the corner to perhaps study and contemplate whether or not I made the right choice in giving this dragon my book. <laughs> a gentleman at the, at the bar sees you. He seems to be tending to a few other people. He nods to you and then he makes his way over. Uh, good evening, I'm Edcut, Masur. Can I get you anything? Uh, a, a meal and a beverage. Yeah, very yes, well. Sir. Um, what kind of beverage do you prefer? Uh, a nice glass of wine is always good to, uh, to warm the bones. I'm not sure if we have wine up in these parts. Uh, mm. our, our drink of the house is Stumpfer Hammer. Um, oh, fair enough. I, I suppose I will make do with that. Oh, uh, very well. And you? He asks, uh, Matthias. Perhaps just an ale. Oh, very well. If you have a good, if you have a good uh, make. Well, again, our house, our house brew is Stumpfer Hammer. It's fairly good, that, if I say so myself. And he says, "Very well. I'll bring you a pitcher then." Are you expecting anyone else? <laughs> uh, I believe a, a few of our compatriots are are finding their way over. Very well. He leaves the two of you to your own devices, and he comes back a few minutes later uh, with a pitcher, a couple mugs. He leaves uh, for. He says you're gonna find this. Uh, this is a bit hairy, if you will. Uh, this brew. Try it if you like it. Let me know if you like it. Uh, we'll be sure to. I, I will gingerly take take a sip of it. <laughs> the stumper hammer is black at the bottom, but gold at the top. You smell it? Yes? Yeah, no? yeah. It's yeah, a yeah. mixture of strong, bitter ales, dark rum, and it has almost a coffee smell to it. Most people put, and he's got a little little tray of sugar there as well, most people put raw sugar on top of the foam to give it a spark effect. Huh. If, if you say that is the way it is, it is had, then, then that is the way I'll have it. I'll grab a scoop of sugar and sprinkle it on I, top. I suppose I'll try. Okay. You drink it down. It's 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 really pretty gar darn good for all the <laughs> smells and effervescence that come off of it. And, and as you're drinking it, you you have a beard, correct? Yeah. You yeah. And both of you have beards, yeah. if I recall correctly. Your beards, they start to tingle, if you will. I see. 
Matthias' beard is so much shorter than the... <laughs> but I... Uh, tingling, eh? And just as you just did, you put your hands to your chin, and you feel like your beard just grew <laughs> about almost an inch as you're drinking on this. <sighs> when he said Harry, do you think he meant literally? <laughs> uh, it, it seems as if there is something hairy in this drink for sure. <laughs> but it is good. And that is what we have it scissors is. for. And I take another you, big swig. <laughs> it's really good. The sweet and the bitterness and the rum, the warmth of the rum mixed with a, the spike of the coffee. It's just, it's like a rush. And at the same mm. time, you feel like you can feel <laughs> your beard growing as you drink. <laughs> Matias observes with fat, with morbid fascination this phenomenon occurring in front of him. <laughs> Just wide-eyed and somewhat astounded by the utter insanity of, a, of, a, of an alcoholic drink actually causing it an air growth. <laughs> the innkeeper, uh, Edkart, Brings over a large tray of meats and so forth, and 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 uh, drops it in front of you. If there's anything else I can be getting here, then let me know. And how's the ale? Or how's the the stumper hammer? It is. It is very good. Uh, quite surprising. Though. Yes. Very uh, surprising. You're gonna need a strong razor tomorrow morning. Rest assured. I I figured as much. Uh, I, uh... Well, enjoy it. Uh, let me know. Just nod to the bar if you need another pitcher. Understood. Many thanks. Both of you roll a perception check. <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> you are enjoying the ale, beer, drink, whatever you want to call it at the moment. <laughs> Sixteen. Sixteen. Matthias, from across the tavern, you note a young woman with dark hair. She sits in a corner. Your eyes connect with her for a brief moment, and she nods to you. She has a slightly concerned look on her face. Does she look familiar? Um. Roll another... Roll an investigation check. Investigation. Fifteen. Okay, you're sure you have not met her before. Okay, so it's not what's her face from Turkey. Uh, I'll glance around and throw a me before cautiously nodding back to her. <laughs> she seems to. She's sitting by herself. She doesn't know how quite how to react right now, and she seems to be looking around, almost as if she's looking for someone or something like that in the tavern. Almost as if she's looking for someone or what? I, uh, yeah, someone or some group of someones in the tavern. Well, far be it for me to leave the, uh, those in need to be floundering in their own helplessness. <laughs> Taking a very, very small sip of the drink. <laughs> Matthias <laughs> says, keep an eye on things, if you would please, my friend. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll just go back, to, go back to looking at my beer in my hands. It's gotten so long. Curly. <laughs> and then Matthias cautiously and as inconspicuous as he can uh, walks over as casually as possible to, uh, to address the, uh, the young woman. She, she stands as you approach and she says, Hello. Uh, Greetings. Um, um, my name is... Um, 
Nebin Aventur. Aventur. Nebin Aventur. Well then, Miss Aventur, I noticed that you seemed to seek some sort of contact with me. Yeah, I, I'm trying. I'm trying to find some adventurers or s someone to help me. And you both don't appear to be from around here. Indeed we are not. Um, May I ask, is there something amiss? Yes. Um, may, I, may I buy you a drink? Perhaps it is not the uh, brew, uh, the specific brew that I was having before, <laughs> then yes, I, do, I would prefer not to be overwhelmed in the morning. <laughs> oh, um, I think I understand, but um, okay. Um, she nods to the barkeep. The barkeep comes over and he's, ah, oh, yes, what can I get for the two of you? She goes, um, just, I'll, I'll have whatever he's having. She points to you. Uh, perhaps a lighter ale, sir. Oh, I... I some, we need to converse, and whilst I do enjoy your specialty, I think it's a little heavy for what is new, what is to be discussed. Um, we will both need our wits. Uh, very well, sir. I'll, I'll bring you something much lighter. It's... Um, perhaps it's, uh, it might be a little bit too light for you, but, um... Sometimes, sir, I have learned that the drink is just as much a matter of the activity as the drink itself. Oh, very well, very well. I'll be right back, then. He goes very over nice. and he sort of rummages around behind something, and while he's doing that, she says, um, uh, where are you coming from? Depends on what, which, uh, what you mean by where I'm from. Personally, I hail from Hungary, though my compatriots hail from other regions. Uh, we are currently bound for other uh, for other places still. Uh, so, I suppose oh, there is no one place that we are coming from. I suppose you could say it is a long string of places with. Well, a very long story that I do not think is relevant to this conversation. Well, I, I, I'm sorry. Um, and, and perhaps I'm being a bit forward. Where are you going to? Forward into the Empire, as I understand it. Personally, I am uncertain. Our, we have multiple goals, so to speak, and... Whilst many of them converge, they are not all necessarily guiding us towards the same place. If that makes any sense. She nods. She somewhat stares around the room blankly and as if she's deep in thought for a moment. Um, southeast of Salzburg, in the Holland salt mine, um, there's an item that's very precious to me. And... In the mine. Yes, yes. And this item is something of familial value? Well, it's a box, and the box itself has something of familial value in it. Yes. I can show you how to get there. And you are hoping that we will be able to retrieve this? Box? Yes. And the item inside? Yes. I mean... If I may be so bold, may I ask why exactly you have need of outside ser outsider services to retrieve it? Um, she leans in and she whispers, My family was taken and I need the contents of this box. I see. So the, the box is in importance to freeing them? That's my understanding, yes. But 
I see. That is uh, quite a predicament. I, if it were my, if it were only myself and I were to make these, the one making the choice, I would agree in a heartbeat. However, I will have to discuss it with my compatriots, bring the case before them. If, if I, if I had the opportunity, I would gladly introduce you to try to see what they thought of the matter themselves. But Surely, I, I would be happy to do that. I will see what I can do. Very well. Thank you, Rainus. Thank you for. Well, I hope, I hope that I'm able to help. So do I. I will meet with my compatriots and then. I will see if I can find a way to let you know what the final decision is. Well, at the very least, I might be able to convince them to, to hear you out. Thank you. I would appreciate that. And, uh, Matthias puts a few claws on the table for the drinks. Uh, it's not necessary. I, I can cover it. I insist. Drink. Very well. Thank you. Matthias, with a respectful nod, stands back up and walks back over to his table, deep in thought. You notice that Morton has joined you at the table. Welcome. Hey, Dennis. How's it going? Good. Morton? Morton, you, ha you have to try, the try this brew. Look what it does to your beard. And I'll <laughs> wave. I'll wave to the barkeep. If you... So, if you desire a fresh... Ten good, but I suppose you could have that. So, uh, it's okay. Just take mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> you look at each of them, and they each seem to have some new growth on their beard. Mine, perhaps, a little bit longer than. <laughs> yeah, Morton's like uh, rubs his smooth skin. Good. He's like, Nah, it's all right. I'm good. I'm good. I, I will still call for more because I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm, you're enjoying, well. I'm enjoying the growth. <laughs> <laughs> Eckhart uh, brings over another pitcher. He's uh, enjoying this. Are, are you enjoying the stump or hammer? It's really good stuff, isn't this, it? This is a, mar a marvelous drink that you have concocted here. Oh, oh I thank you very much. This. It's the house specialty. Oh. And special it is. And special it is. It is. It does, the taste is exquisite. Yeah. Though the, uh, thank you very much. Are so much unexpected. <laughs> Uh, they don't stay for very long. Um, I'm sure. If you want it removed more quickly, just uh, my wife, um, Anina, can take care of that if you really want her to. It, ha it has been a little chilly at night. I think it might keep me a little warm. It'll just cost you two bits. <laughs> <laughs> nice. oh. It's all a racket. <laughs> it's a shaving. It's a shaving racket. The barber's it's a barber's, guild. It's a barber's racket. Yeah. It's a... The barber guild in this town rules everything. With an iron fist. <laughs> <laughs> so what, they, what? They've addicted the entire town to this hair growth beer. What? What was this young lass you were talking to, in the corner about? Someone she... who. Someone who had a job for us, if we are interested. I think we're kind of filled up on jobs as it is, aren't we? This it, might be, this might not be too far out of our way, but at the very least, I thought it would, it, it would be. Well, well, if it's close, I'd say okay. If it's we got to travel halfway across the continent, probably not. Well, where did she say uh, we needed to go? Salzburg, one of the mines. Aren't we? Aren't we going? I think we're going that way. I don't really know the area. <laughs> I just know Borns well, really wants to hit that one mountain. Be, at the very least, I thought it would be only right for, our, for her to be able to present her case to the rest of our group. Hmm. All right, what's your name? Uh, I didn't quite catch her first name, but her last name was Aventure, I believe. Uh. Oh. You're never going to attract the ladies if you cannot remember their names. Seriously. Unfortunately, <laughs> I am more concerned with the fact that, that this item is apparently 
involved in some sort of situation involving her family being taken. Hmm. And they want this item to ransom the family out, I'm guessing? I do not know exactly. All I know is that apparently that a cool, as far as she knows, it does not sound like there is a certainty there, the hmm. item is involved in somehow freeing them. What was the name I'm of that? I'm not sure how, I'm not sure what it is. All I know is that it's in a box inside one of the mines. Like I said, I thought it would be best if she was able to present her case herself to the to the party as a whole so that we could all judge the situation and, and decide if we were willing to undertake it. If it were only my choice, I would. But that is because of my own code and well, of honor and ethics. Mm -hmm. Not everyone here is necessarily bound by the same obligations and oaths as I. Aside from doing the good thing, is there anything in for us? That is... I'm not sure. Hmm. You'd have to ask her. Do we know where the location of the salt mines are? How close are they? No, but you... You, no, you don't, but off the top of your head, but you know where Salzburg is. I mean, you've got a think, vague idea where And I where think Salzburg we're taking the, like, the mail package to... You are going to Salzburg. To Salzburg. You did agree to the general to. direction. So we're heading that, we're heading that way anyway. Going that way, yeah. But then we'd have to come back. We're going into the Archbishopric anyway. All right. To collect well, you are to collect in the, the reward. And how far away is Salzburg? Back. It's probably from here two to three days. Not too bad compared to what we've been through. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I guess you can present her case and we'll listen. That is all that I could. That is all that I was willing to promise. I could not promise that we would take the child only that we could hear, only that I could try to ensure that she was heard. Well, and you, I suppose that's all that I could ask for. You rescued me from the snows, so I will go with you where you think is best. I wish I could sing a truthful tune. Just make sure she's telling the truth, but it would take too long to probably get that ready. So we're just gonna have to take her at her word, I guess. Unfortunately, that's. Uh, that's a common occurrence in this. All right. Well. String of. Have her, have her come on over. Me. That I somehow stumbled into. <laughs> you knights in armor. <laughs> you just can't resist a damsel in distress. Don't you know how yeah, many songs that, I that sing about how? how... That, that wasn't even the event that sent me on this path. <laughs> actually, I was kidnapped by a monk. Do you know how many stories this ends poorly for you guys? Oh man, I can sing you a couple ballads. In fact, let me go sing you one. Now. No, no, bring it on over and we'll, uh, we'll see what goes on. By a monk. By it was the most absurd situation. <laughs> he and this ranger ambushed my carriage, knocked me unconscious, dragged me into the woods, and then I was forced to help them escape the town guard while they stormed a church. Well, then you it got was... pretty much everything you have going for you at this point. <laughs> Go bring him. <laughs> have the girl come on over. We'll talk to her. <laughs> Man, you have no idea what you just signed up for, do you? <laughs> yeah, have her come on over. I think he thought I was a damsel in distress when he rescued me. Oh, with hair like that, sure. <laughs> but now the beard kind of like throws it off. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, any, any sort of situation like that, I just I just shake my head and assume that that, that it's not going to end up being what I think it is. I've long since resigned myself to the fact that the tales of chivalry and the songs of Roland are not quite accurate to the way the world really is in any way, shape, or form. We do embellish just a little bit. <laughs> just a little. All right. Well, uh, I think it's on I, the way, so let's see what she's got to say. Do you know where the rest of our party is? You know what? They kind of wander off, and some come back, and some don't. You know? Indeed, I suppose so. <laughs> that is something of a running theme. You know, I have to expect that Frenchman to be coming back here soon. <laughs> yes, I remember. The Lumiere, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Played the violin yes. terribly, terribly. But, you know, he's got some... Yes, the, um, <laughs> the gold obsession, <laughs> if I recall correctly. Eh, Frenchman. Yeah. Well, Frenchman. I do wish the Venetian. He was a, he was a noble man. All right. Well, uh, Matthias nods to uh, to Miss Avatar in the group as a and makes a motion to show her that she's welcome to 
speak at our table, I think. She nods back at you and she reaches into a purse and pulls out some coins and puts them on the table to pay for her own drinks. And she gets up and walking with her mug, she cautiously comes over to you and she says, um, hello, I'm uh, Nevin Aventur. Your associate said I could join you. Sure, have yes. a seat. Yes, sit down. Um, um, I, what have you told them? And where do you want me to start? From the beginning. I have told them only the most basic information. I, they know that it, your request would take us towards one of the mines near Salzburg and that it involves an item found inside, which is somehow tied to a situation with your family. That is all I know and that is all I told. My family was taken. I don't know exactly by whom and I'm not supposed to say that part, but it's very hard not to say that part. My family was taken and um, I, I received a note that they want this object. I, I know that the object is probably in the mine, and, and that's where my, either my father or one of my brothers would have left it. And that's where they worked. And so that if you can get that item and then bring it, and I, I assume I'll be told what to do with it at that point. Do you know but I don't want to go in there by myself. Yeah, I was going to say, what's, what's the item? I don't know exactly what it is. It's some type of family heirloom kept in a box. What does the box look like? Well, it, she describes, it's a, a wooden box with um, it, um, like small n n rounded nails that are pounded around wooden straps that go around the top. And then across the front, there's a small, mm, like a... Um, a strap that comes down made of, I think it's iron or something like that, with a, a small, almost like a nail that goes through the front of it to hold it in place. On the back there are hinges. So I'd say it's about, you know, about this big, by about that high. So it has a, um, an, um, I guess you would, uh, like a three-sided top to it. Um, two sides are kind of arched at the front and then it's flat on the top. The bottom is relatively flat. It does have a small, four small wooden feet, but, but that's now, about it. So a fairly simple wooden chest. I, now, I guess you could call it that. This mine, is this, your family owns this mine? No, 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 it's it's not owned by my family at all. It's one of the mines that belong to the archbishopric. Why would your father leave something so valuable sitting in a mine somewhere? Well, or anybody could just grab it. I don't know it. what's, if it's in a value in terms of some gold or silver, or if it's a value, just a personal value. Well, it's gotta be something. They kidnapped your I, family. I, yes, I know that. Don't, please don't say <laughs> that so loud. Do you, Do you still have the note? Yeah. Um, it wasn't a note, it was somebody who came to me. They came to me and told me this. And how are you supposed to let them know that you have this item? I'm assuming somebody will be watching me at some point, and that's why I've been very cautious in here. Well, they must know that you could go get it yourself. I probably could, but I fear for what... I don't think it's necessarily so simple, whatever it is. I don't want to be played for the fool. We don't even so, know if your family's alive. Not that I want to like bring that out there, but it is a possibility. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for Very tactful. Yeah. Very tactful, friend. Well, hey, you know, you gotta be truthful about this. Truthful, yes. Blunt is not necessarily the word that I would just think. Mm -hmm. Truthful is not necessarily the same thing as blunt. Hmm. When did this guy, what did the person look like to talk to you? Um, he, he had a, uh, like a heavy woolen overcoat that was tan, it was somewhat ribbed, and then he had um, tight leggings that were like brown or kind of a grayish brown, and maybe brown shoes, and he had, wore a hood, but it didn't cover his face. It, you could see his face, it just kind of snugly went around his head. That um, sounds like half the men in this room. Do you have an accent? <laughs> I mean, he sounded German, like okay. most of us do. All right. Mm -hmm. Name of the so, mind? a German, uh, dark, 
great drum, and it's what the hood was it attached to a cloak or was it just a cowl? Um, she said, I think whatever he was wearing, it went down inside of it, um, like as if that was something underneath him. It wasn't, it didn't cover his face, it just was like wrapped around his head. Do you have a family home here? Um, we have a home in Salzburg. Salzburg. Rent a place. So Salzburg. you guys were just here visiting? Um, I came here because I wanted to get away from where somebody might be looking for me. So they, this guy contacted you in Salzburg? Yes. Okay. Yes. Did you check your home? Was it ransacked or anything like that? Mm, no. Nothing that I could tell. I mean, I quickly left there. Okay. How long ago was this? This was about four days ago. Okay. I got here yesterday. Are you gonna be accompanying us? Are you? I can. I mean, I, just to make sure that. I, well, I mean, because you're gonna eventually have to meet up with him in Salzburg anyway. So. I assume so. I mean, I assume there, can... If you were, if you were to accompany us there, assuming we. Assuming that the, my compatriots agree to help, it would probably be best if you didn't arrive at the same time as us, simply because of the. I agree, but I wouldn't want you, if you agreed to do this, I wouldn't want you to be far away. I'm, you know, I don't know that once, if I have this, whatever it is, and give it to them, if what will happen at that point. Yeah. Do you know the name of the mine? Yes, I do. It's um, the the Hallen Salt Mine. The Hallen Salt. Mine. Is it still in use, or has it been? Y yes, I mean it, they still work it. Yes, they still work it. The father of any friends that work the mine? I mean, I, my father has lots of friends. I don't know them that well. I mean, he, he would probably would have put it near one of the workstations. That I assume. So your father's just a salt miner. Well, he's kind of like a, I guess you would a call him a, wor a work boss, a foreman, yes, okay. something like that. So he could be making some pretty good coin. Yes. You might have Especially a, the salt. That's a, that. You might have like an office in that mine somewhere. Well, salt is very valuable. It's more valuable than gold here. Mm -hmm. But I don't understand if they want this item, why wouldn't they just go to the mine and take it themselves? I don't think they know that it's there. Is my I think, that that's the real, I think that that's proof enough that the situation is not as simple as it might sound. Right. If they're not willing to go and take it themselves, then obviously they, they feel it's, that they might not be able to take it without some risk. And what would a salt miner have that would be so valuable that they would kidnap somebody for? Well, it's not necessarily what a salt miner might have, it's what his, his forefathers might have had. If, it, if well, as we, if as you say it is a family heirloom, then it might be more than what one, one might expect from a... And the box did sound unusual. Right? Per perhaps it's a heart that is preserved in salt inside of a box. True. I didn't think of that. It's grisly. I mean, a bit <laughs> morbid, but, I heard of, but honestly, since I've joined this... Group, I've heard of str a, a somewhat stranger things. Uh, I mean, salt is a preservative, and if they were looking to salt. preserve something, what did your grandfather, what did your forefathers that's, do? That's, that's part of were they all salt miners too? Yeah, I mean, for the most part, yes. All right, so they're all miners. They got this box. They got something in this box that the other people want. They won't go in the mine to get it, or maybe the her father's just not talking. But. I don't know. Doesn't quite add up, but since when does half this stuff does? So hey, hey, Balder. Oh. Balder wanders up to the table. Just you woke notice, up. You just you notice that Zyman and Matthias's beards seem to be a little bit more longer and fuller than usual. Uh oh. I like my uh, nice smooth face. Thank you very much. You must you must try this brew from. From this local brewery I have here. Fantastic. You can have my tankard if you wish. 
And I, t- I, take another, I, just, I, I just take another swig and I call over for more from them. And it, even as he bar. takes a swig, you see it's like his beard bristles and it starts to extend a little bit further. My beard is long enough. I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely a wise choice. It is very, the taste is sublime, but the side effects are unusual. <laughs> Have you spoken to anyone else about this? No, I've been waiting. I came here figuring there might be some, mm-hmm. uh, for want of a better word, venturer types who might be coming down. And so I, I thought I would ask, I would look around, and um, this gentleman, Matthias, he, he caught my eye, and he was kind enough to come over, and I expressed it to him. If you're not interested, please don't tell anyone about this. No, we wouldn't do that. I'm not saying we're not interested yet. But you realize, of course, that we're, you know, adventurous for hire. What would you want? I don't know. What do we want? Well, I, I know what he wants. What is there that, could, that you could afford? Yeah, we're not gonna like fleece you, but if you don't have gold, we'll take eyeballs. Eyeballs. I can't. It's say a acceptable saying. form of. She pain. doesn't smoke <laughs> like I do. Let's <laughs> <laughs> not scare the poor lady already. Everybody scared her once. Don't scare her twice. <laughs> Please forgive Baldur. He has this bizarre obsession with collecting. Have you ever seen this? Yeah. Ocular organs. Ocular organs. Have you ever seen this box before? I still not understand. Yes, I think it's I, if it's the one I think it is. So you've seen this before, and <laughs> if it's the one I think it is, have you ever seen it opened or? I, it's not something that I would have paid attention to. And your right? father never mentioned it. Not that I recall. Is it? I mean, is it locked? Do we need a key to open it? If it's the if, if it's the style that I think it is, no. It has like a hasp with almost like a nail. So if it in we recover this, we can open this and see what's Should. in there. Yes. All right. All right. Well, at least we can check it out. Hmm. It's on the way. We have mail to deliver. There. We have anyway. ma- we're, we're already we delivering as, mail, apparently. Well. So. All right then. Well. You just hired. Don't tell him. I already have a box with a heart in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, your second one. We're just collecting at this point. Maybe we'll just give him this one. Do you want this box? <laughs> I've got extra. <laughs> they're even. They're even more scared of me now. <laughs> they just have organs. I'm like, he has an organ in there. What? <laughs> Honestly, I would. I would say that even if there are complications involved in this, this would. It wouldn't likely be worse than must have been. Some of what we've encountered before. Well, that's just what she look like? Should be a walk in the park she compared to like that, <laughs> She's a medium height, um, blonde hair, long hair, kind of roped in the back, has um, like a light jerkin on, long pants, light. Seems like she's well to do. Not poor, not but poor, not but but not middle wealthy. Road. Yeah. Okay. The, 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 I mean, the, the, the foreman of a salt mine would not be poor. They, they would not be exceedingly wealthy, but they wouldn't be poor. Salt is a major commodity. It's one of the most valuable mm-hmm. on the continent at the moment. Yeah. Okay. So I see we do it. Yeah. I imagine they live at least somewhat comfortably. Comparatively, anyway. Yeah, let's do it. Let's help out. All right, we'll do it. We'll help you out. We'll keep it quiet. Thank you. We'll get the box, and then we'll help you. We're not going to just turn the box over, though. We're going to go with you and turn it into these whoever these people are. I want to make sure you get your family back. Otherwise, they're not getting this thing. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Where, when are you leaving? Right away. Let's go now. I mean, your family's well, kidnapped, so. It's the middle so. of the night. Yeah, it's a little yeah. dark. And I'm, oh, well, I guess we'll wait for the morning. <laughs> No, no windows in here. I didn't know. I didn't realize. <laughs> the, the barber guild here is terrible. They don't even give you a clock. <laughs> uh, I'll see you in the morning. Then. Yep. Very well. We'll leave a message for. And then suddenly we learn Bar- the entire thing uh, Lotus Eater machine. So anyway, and eight years have passed while we were away while we were, while we were drifting. <laughs> so, so what happened with the dragon? I kind of had to like go take a call. <laughs> Uh, the, I, I, I'm mostly much. blacked out because I'm still getting over my phobia of the creatures. 
Uh, the, the Archbishop delivered us our, our letters of introduction to half the continent, I believe. Okay, excellent. And about that guy that the dragon was supposed to talk to us about, who knew about those, how to get rid of vampires or weapons or something like that? I vaguely don't remember how it ended. I, I didn't hear what you said. I remember we had the silver dragon was going to contact somebody who was way in the south from us. He knew somebody there who might know about these dragon crystals. And he was adamant that there was no red dragon. I remember that part. Right. He was contacting someone in the south. I don't remember that. You don't remember that? All right. The dragon we were gonna... was contacting someone to the south? Yeah, he said he knew someone down yeah. there, and he was going to reach out to them. That. Originally, I was going to ask him to fly me down there so I could talk to him, but he didn't seem too interested on that. That would have been an epic valley. It was only a couple hours ago, sure so I, I don't think he's had a chance to ask Going that. and seeing this red dragon for himself? Was no, that no, no, no. There was a guy down there he mentioned who might know about these items, the, these oh, crystals. Oh, he, he said... Um, the dragon crystals. Oh, yes. okay. He said, I believe he said to you um, that... Uh, Dominic Retot. Retot. Um, was uh, an expert. expert. Uh, and, uh, and on he wasn't going to reach out to it, or we have to try to reach he out? He said I, he might have alluded that he could reach out to him. He said uh, Dominic Retot is in, um, in Buddha, I believe he said. Okay. All right. I remember that. Name checks out. It sounds like something from Carpathia. Yeah. All right. I just want to make sure we're not... Leaving behind. I mean, it's thing. not like Buddha's not hop, skip, and a jump away. No, it's not. That's why if there's a way to contact him. We're finding a way to get to that guy, but. And if nothing else, we'll probably be going back there anyway once we gathered enough support okay. for our. And the dragon, he mission. took off, I guess? No, he, he's no, still he, here. Well, he, we you know guys are. I know we're in the bar right now. now. I mean, did he, how did it end with him? Yeah, he just, just you left. You guys left. He yeah. left. The dragon I, I, with a I, book. I gave him a book of mine that I am having a very difficult time with. And I hope that he can help me with deciphering it. Okay. If we are leaving tomorrow, we will have to come back here. I cannot I cannot leave the book with him. Other, otherwise, I'll have to take it back. And well, I do not think he'll be able to help me. Three days journey to make a round trip around isn't too bad. Deliver the mail, help this last, come back, get your book, and then pick up... Uh, Something Born tells me we'll and, uh, probably to... see him many times on our travels. He always already pretended to be two different dragons in four days. I have a question, but it's a game question, so I'm not sure if you can answer it. I'll try. Ascending spell. If I've met the dragon, could I ever cast that to try to communicate with him? Or do you, I mean, is there like a certain way you have to do that? I know you've used it before in the game, but I've never done it. I believe the answer, the simple oh, we've answer confirmed is that yes. The same dragon. As long as you've met the person, you can do uh, it. He kind of alluded to it in the. Oh, okay. In the, I'm gonna say. I, th I was gonna say yeah, while you guys were talking like about him. this. I think he yeah, has a very scroll of sending as well. Um, I might have some in that warlock's cache similar. that I got too. You send a short message of 25 you know what, words or less to a creature with which you are familiar. Like familiar with <laughs> okay. Short. So if I needed to reach out to him, I could. in its mind. Recognizes you as the sender if it knows you and can answer in a, li in a like manner immediately. Immediately, so, so this came up once before, and so it's not something he delays. <laughs> okay. His, his response, if, again, if he's going to respond, yes. The spell enables creatures with an intelligence score of at least one to understand the meaning of the message. So that's, that could be pretty dumb. You can send the message across any distance, that's pretty far, even to other planes of existence, but if the target is on a different plane than you, there's a 5% chance that the message doesn't arrive. So I don't All right, so we got a way to contact him if we need so, to. So, um, mm -hmm. yes, you could absolutely, so you're talking about contacting this dragon after you leave him? Yeah, I mean, just to let him know yeah, that, no, you know, you we're coming back to pick up the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Sure, okay. absolutely. Or, or you or can even have him it, somewhere else in the or, future. Yeah, or yeah. you could have him send it somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know, now, to the extent that he could. I have one other question. Sure. I will try to. Does the person have to be magical to send back, or they just, they just that's part of the spell? They just no, respond. It's back. part of the spell. This is my understanding. The way uh, the way I read it, it's part of the spell. Uh, they can they can respond now. You know, to the extent that they can communicate. Right. I mean, if you talk to a, I don't know what the intelligence of a dog is. Right. <laughs> the response you might get back might be. Well, Oh, no. that, gives, that gives food for Chicken. thought for Morton. He might try to reach out to Elise, but he's afraid to. Uh, yes, it's good to know. Sending it, you can cover quite huge distances with it. 
So yes. All right. All right. Well, then I suggest we get in. Pull it at night and get or started in the morning. Sit in the corner of the bar and send it across the table. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that guy? <laughs> <laughs> we had somebody in the party. What now. episode is that from? <laughs> episode three. <laughs> anyway, but well, be, be, before I retire for the night, I will I will wave to the barkeep one last time. <laughs> you do realize that hair grows everywhere on you, right? Eckhart Masur <laughs> brings over another <laughs> pitcher of beer. It actually seems rather confined to your face. You don't see it like growing. Your hair didn't grow. Just your beard just kept getting fuller and fuller and fuller. It brings over uh, some more stumper hammer than for uh, I It have brings to ask over you, another pitcher. I have to ask you, what's the, the tallest, I mean the longest you've ever seen someone's beard grow with this stuff? Oh, yeah, I've seen men wake up in their own spittle <laughs> <laughs> and use it as a mop. Yes, wow. indeed. <laughs> and and where where is a good place to find a room? Do you have? Of course, rooms? we have rooms here. Um, you're paying for uh, yeah, three pitchers. Um, that's uh, call it uh, six gold and some food. Uh, Ten gold cover everything, and I get you some. How many rooms do you want? Four, uh, four, 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 uh, four rooms. Uh, another. So well, we're still a party of like twelve. Right? <laughs> uh, so with the rooms, uh, well, everyone else not here. Uh, Sleep Thirty gold cover it all, and that'll include some breakfast for you. Breakfast too. Pay the man. All right. Uh, I'll give him thirty gold. All right. All right. So we'll meet her in the morning, and uh, we'll rescue your damsel in distress, Matthias. <laughs> No audio. Uh oh, he's no muted. audio. No. He's, he's mute. You act as though this is a normal occurrence. Uh, <laughs> Check blue sky above. Help me. <laughs> what do we do? Okay, you go to your rooms, or do you you sure. finish off your pitcher? Your beard is pretty full. Eventually, it quiets down for the night in the in the tavern. Before I head to my room, I take a, a evening stroll in the in the crisp night air, twiddling my beard, my my <laughs> newfound growth. <laughs> and it's a very tight courtyard yes, yes. of an area with some <laughs> narrow passages inside the walk the off Schloss Hohenwerf and walk off the alcohol before I lay my head down. <laughs> okay. I simply retire to my room and uh, and uh, and uh, meditate and pray before sleep. Okay. Very well. Anyone else do anything else? No eyeballs to drop between your legs? Not to <laughs> <laughs> Okay. The night passes on a vest. Do you realize that just for the joke, Matias is never actually going to understand what, why you want the eyeballs? <laughs> actually, he is going to be eternally actually, yes. oblivious to why you, what you <laughs> use Apparently the I have sex. for. <laughs> is that good? Yeah. I forgot. I guess we did get him last time. So I will do that. Unvari, make me geld. And I'll drop a bunch of gold out. <laughs> Huzzah. Mental note, wash the gold. <laughs> wash the gold. Okay, the night passes Covered uneventfully rooms. unless you guys do something else. Next morning you wake up well rested. You come in from the cold, you're well rested. Your beard seems to have shrunk back to... Eh, not fully back, but depending on how much you consumed, moderately back. Mattias, you were relatively lightweight there. Your beard <laughs> is back to what it normally was. I'm not sure whether I find this to be a net positive or a net negative. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fascinating experience, though. I will look for the keep in the morning and ask him if he can... He has a, a small barrel that I can take with me. Fill up your wine skin. <laughs> Get a wine skin. Bring it with you. Oh, I can certainly give you. Yes, it, but once you open it, you have to consume it. It doesn't last that long once the barrel's open. So, but well, like a half barrel, enough, enough for me. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I can. Um, it's probably about the size of two pitchers. Uh, yeah. Ten gold be all right. Perfect. Yes. Uh, we'll bring it right out to you with breakfast, then. We're going to strap it to your back and put a tube around so you can just suck it all over the tablet. I forgot I had this bottle of Riki from Congo. Yes. you got to drink that stuff. Is, that, is it any good? 
it's it's wild. <laughs> you have, I'll tell you what. You have a large silver, not chalice. Um, Something like that. Yeah. The, silver. Um, what's the term I'm looking? I for? I tell you what. If, decanter. Yeah, it's a decanter, like a decanter. You have a large silver decanter filled with it. You know what? If we cool. save this lady and uh, get her family back, if we make it back in one piece, I say we drink it. All right, celebrate. I think you ought to warn him. <laughs> <laughs> some awesome stuff About happens. the effects of All right. Use some, some awesome, awesome stuff. stuff happens. <laughs> you ought to warn her as well. Interesting. You for celebration. Oh, my. Well, he's curious, but now he really wants to try it. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't tell me. I don't want to be spoiled. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll All right, so, so we get up in the morning and we get out there. All I and, remember uh, is doing push-ups with like 15 girls on my back. <laughs> 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 yeah. I don't remember much after that. <laughs> yes. Okay. Next morning, and uh, you, you have your small tankard or not tankard, um, like one of your mini, like a mini keg, uh, if you will. There's a hearty portions of blood pudding and thick bacon and and um, no fruit per se, but some uh, mm -hmm. some meats and some hams and some cheeses and so forth. Sounds good. And laid out for you. And he says, "Well, I hope you come back again and uh, make the praises of our drink. We tried hard to make that." Uh, Anita helps, uh, brings around some plates for you and so forth, and and. Uh, Okie doke. Mm -hmm. What do you got? And eventually, well, Nevin Aventura. Your labors are clear in the product. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. As what we make it eat? here, it's special just for here. Uh, uh, Nevin Aventura comes down and she meets you and she says, Good morning to you all. Um, I, again, I do appreciate, appreciate your helping out. You know, hopefully, this is nothing, but I'm just concerned. So, I, I do hope you can. Sure. From my perspective, at least, even if it is some trouble, then the good that is done is worth it. But then again, I am a some a traditional personality amongst this group. Okay. I wouldn't worry about it. We're experts at this kind of stuff. The day passes, rather, the rest of the morning. You're heartily filled up, and I think everybody's everybody fill out the character tracker. Did oh, everybody? Yes, if you didn't, if you would, please. I think everybody's full up on hit points. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, I believe so. Should be. Okay. And she starts walking with you down from the uh, from the mountains, and uh, you exit the mountain pass. The morning is crisp and clear. The snow quickly starts to dissipate as you descend from the mountains. Finally, descend oh. from the mountains <laughs> toward uh, toward a valley. Uh, like a fortress wall, the huge mountain range just comes to an abrupt end. And then you find yourself in a large valley beyond it. There wasn't quite as much snow as was depicted here, but I didn't have another shot of uh, Verfen at that point. Um, I and can't you believe we made it. Huh. I, am I was glad sure to... we were going to die up there. I'm glad we got out of those mountains. And we did spend quite a, a, a surprising amount of time simply traversing them. I feel like we've been in there for months. There for half of it. <laughs> we came very close to freezing to death multiple times. Hmm. Not to mention the giant fire-breathing <laughs> centipede creatures. The Ormoras, yeah. <laughs> or those I will elk I will, creatures. I, I, I will be like avoiding the mountains, hopefully, for a while. Okay, it kind of gives you the idea that is Sloss. It's probably what it more looked Ooh. like when you were there. That's Sloss Hohenwerfen, where you just were, and it descends down into the valley beyond, and and, nice. and you start to start to make your way out across the. It's there's still some undulating hills, but it's 
exponentially lower than the rest of the uh, the terrain around you, if you will. The day, what are you doing as you're marching? Nebin Aventura is with you and you're, as you're crossing this terrain. The sun rises, it gets, it actually feels warm. It starts for the first time. If you've been wearing, wearing heavy woolen clothing, it actually feels quite, quite nice at this point. And, and oh, feel the blue sky smile down on us, friends. <laughs> it is a nice day. That's not the sky I meant, but I suppose that is true as well, yes. Simon, you remember to bring the mail, right? It is on the sled uh, behind sorry. us. Okay. Yes. Okay. You start to make your way out across uh, some green pastures at this point, making your way up and down hills, and the hills eventually start to, to level out. The sun crosses the, the sky and eventually starts to set. Soon the sun sets below, behind the horizon. There's that period of dusk where it goes from from just uh, the before end of evening nautical twilight. You guys making camp or what are you doing? Probably I think that idea. I think that we should. We, at the very, and I don't think we need to stray too far from from. I assume I assume we're on the road. Well, there's or no sort. there's not that many roads this far north up in. The Roman roads have all pretty much disappeared at this point. Um, you're well, at least there's a, a well-traveled path. Like like yeah, sort of I mean, you're not path. like in dangerous area. There's open. Yeah. It's open, reasonably open, and so forth. Well, let's gather and make a fire, and I'll make our little safe little hut because you can never be too careful. And mm -hmm. uh, cool. Never can be too careful. Cool. Actually, we got a lady here. We got to make sure she's safe. Yes, and <laughs> you have enough room in it Come. right now, too. Crowd this is this your whole party is not here. <laughs> it tells you he, he can fit a lot of people inside that thing for like how big it is. I don't know how everybody's sleeping in it. <laughs> they all have to stand up. Yeah. <laughs> Great practice and being used to small groups. Nobody like, to know what nobody likes sharing a tiny hut with Balder. <laughs> if, you, if you think that this is uncomfortable, the war, you would you would not be able to survive the camp's work that, that I stayed in while I was in, with, serving with the with the king's army. I can just imagine. That was uh, much much more cramped. <laughs> while, camp, <laughs> while camp's being set up, I'll I'll just take a walk around and, and look at all the the new stuff that I've I've never seen before. And, Take notes in my in my book for future reference. And the and the uh, they did give you your letter of introduction to the emperor. It didn't specify who the emperor is, and the letter of introduction to the pope. So and the and the dragon did give you back your book for now. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Correct. Unless you wanted to no, leave it yeah. with him. No, that's fine. For, and no, he said, I, I have the gist. I will do some more research. And, okay. so, and you're on your merry way. All right. Sounds good. What are you guys doing at night before you bed down? Everybody's, um, everybody's feeling good and all that. I'll just sing a little, a couple little yeah. songs to relax everybody. I'll play a little one. Let's have some... Campfire fun before bed. <laughs> we're happy to be out of the mountains. That's it. So we're That's just... we'll, we'll, we'll jump along whatever he has available. <laughs> so I asked Neber, right? Neber? Well, we'll call it Neber now. Nebin. 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 So have you lived, have your family lived in Salzburg, you know, for how long? How many years? Um, bear with me one second. Um, Nebin Habentura says, um, I, well, I've lived in the Salzburg region my whole life. Um, I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't really know any place else. These salt mines, anything we need to be worried about going in there? Any kind of creatures might be inhabiting them that might cause issues? No, I mean, most of the salt mines are very, very safe. It's, I mean, you see people, while they're digging sometimes, deep down inside, the, the diggers at the front might encounter something, but... No, I mean, 
you know, in the explored areas and so forth. I don't, I mean, I, I'm not a salt miner myself, but from the stories I've heard now. No stories of uh, multi-armed creatures with carapaces made yeah. seemingly out of bone? She looks at you very disconcerted. Um, I look at you very disconcerted as well. Carapace is made <laughs> out of bone? You do not, oh. if you have not heard of it, you do not want to know. <laughs> no, I, I, I haven't. Uh, it sounds horrid. Be, be, be very glad that you have not. Be very, very glad that you have not. I, I am. <laughs> now, um, can just anybody walk into this salt mine? I mean, obviously, if it's... Well, um, I have somebody. We might have... Uh, hopefully, we can just walk in. I mean, I can probably either give you some money to bribe our way in, if that becomes necessary. If it becomes right. necessary. And, but I think if we go during one of the work shifts, when the, where they're changing, the, there's a lot of... It's not very defined and organized, if you will. People so they people just come and go all the time. Yes. I mean, well, the find mines, they don't run 24 hours a day, but they almost 24 right. hours a day. Mm, all right. I mean, the mines are dark, so the sunlight's somewhat irrelevant. But most people don't like working overnight shifts anyway, so if we go toward the end of the day, when there's a shift, there might be a smaller group going inside, is kind of what I was thinking. I mean, I haven't thought that far in advance. Okay. Going out at night probably would be the best bet anyway. Less people yeah. would be in there. Um, I doubt anyone this side of the mountains will be able to stop us. Very true. <laughs> All right. Let them try. We're getting in that mine. We could probably, if we have to, we could try to act like merchants or something. We have a stake in it or something <laughs> like that. Try, try to bluff our way in if we have to. We could be the owners. Be the owners of a mine. I could flash there. enough gold around. Sure. Do you know who we are? <laughs> You can put on a good show. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be the first time we've been you caught in some place we're technically not supposed to be. <laughs> Pretty much everywhere. <laughs> I mean, we're not wrong. But has she been during the day? Has she been kind of keeping to herself? Still uh, worried? She's somewhat pensive, but at the same time, seems to be. Uh, Glad that they're moving in a direction, if you will. Okay. A direction. <sighs> Morton, you seem to have trust issues. I've <laughs> seen some things, <laughs> you know. She's a woman in need. She's a sports. woman in need. You we need to help her. Woman in need? That's the, usually the worst type. <laughs> <laughs> That's trouble with a capital T. After a while. <laughs> Don't worry. Once you see enough, you'll eventually just start getting it. You'll eventually just start listening. And you'll start being surprised by it, and you'll start being more fascinated by how utterly insane the world can be. <laughs> Except for the really bad times. Then you start having nightmares. <laughs> Always. Hmm. Forever. Forever. Okay. All right, Matthias, it's, it's okay. And, it's and, right. and with that, I will, I will, I will pull my... My blanket over myself. And cry yourself, <laughs> Matthias, a weird look, and go to sleep. Everyone's just uneasy now. <laughs> okay, who's on? Are you guys taking watches? I mean, you're under your dome. Matty, uh, yeah, not Matty, yes. uh, Morton casts your dome. Mm -hmm. uh, Eleven uh, using a well, ritual. I, I'll, I'll keep a watch at least. Okay, at who's least on first watch? Part of the night. Well, first. I, I will be. Okay. All right. And Matthias, roll. Uh, and you guys are well rested. You're no longer up in the mountains. You 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 manage to stay awake, no problem for your rest. Nothing. Your 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 rest. Your um, shift. And you're asleep at this point. Oh yeah. Ma and who's on second watch? Magic does. Only second. Okay. Nothing happens. It passes uneventfully. And third. I guess I'll do it. Okay. And it passes uneventfully. The next day. The sun rises high in the sky, and you can continue on your merry way across. Fortune smiles on us again. Another nice day. Let's go. It's actually very, very nice. It's beautiful. The skies are clear. You smell the 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 the, the, the dew in the morning on the, which smells exponentially better than the frost. 
in the morning. You smell the dew on the green plants, and then you, uh, as it warms up, it melts the smell of bugs and, and birds eating bugs and what have you. <laughs> and you guys make your way out across. Singing and playing music. Oh, of course. Anyway. Warren seems like he's in a good mood. Is he? Yeah. As opposed to a bad mood? As opposed to a bad mood, a pensive mood. He's kind of in a good mood. It's, I don't know. All the stress has been lifted. Yeah. Mm. We're not freezing cold. We're not getting frostbite. <laughs> Never been up in tours. And, and, and the speed with which we're traveling, proof of Shenlovat is smiling down upon us. There you go. Nebenabin Tour says, to, where are you all from? I mean, you have different accents and different voices. And how did you meet one another? Just sort of happened. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's some long that's answers. <laughs> I, hail from, I hail from Transylvania, personally. Uh, I do not know where our other two friends come from, but Balder, Balder is, his origins are, well, not only his to explain, but I also think rather obvious simply due to his Varangian stature. <laughs> I'm from the north. <laughs> you are very far from home then. Yes, I uh, traveled months with a merchant caravan all the way south. I just wanted to get a lay of the land and I ran into these folks. And I've been with them ever since. The short of the it. The story of how, our, of how our group always progresses, it seems. <laughs> the short story of it. I am from the kingdom of Aragon. You are also far from home. I, uh, I am very far. I, I'm on a quest to find the meaning of this this manuscript, this journal that I have. Even the dragon couldn't help me. I I am worried. But Matthias found me high in a in a mountain pass. I was I was near death, and without him, I would not be here today. So I have thrown my lot in with all of them. And uh, whilst I'm glad that, that I'm able to visit, save you from death, I must admit it was pure luck. If I've not been coming that way from from my service in the uh, war to defend the crown in Hungary, I might not have found you. Yes. Which is a sobering thought. L l lucky for all of us, I, I suppose. You would not be with me now. <laughs> Well, I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and you? Where are you from? I'm from an isle in Norway called Giske. It's far to the north. Yeah, in fact, far from home too. In fact, it's so far north that there's times of the year where the sun doesn't set or doesn't rise for many days. I kind of miss home. That sounds very <laughs> dark. Where the sun does not set or rise for... It depends on the time of the year. It's actually quite magical. So it can be perpetually dark. Like it can be. Or perpetually light. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For about a period of about 30 days or so. Twice a year. Oh my gosh. That sounds horrid. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's home. It just stays in the sky for forever. It, it does this thing. It kind of cast of a minor illusion. It kind of shows the sun kind of goes down. kind of hovers. It kind of goes back up like that. <laughs> See, it does sound like that. It's, it's actually kind of romantic. Huh. Think of it like a perpetual sunset for several days. Yes, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what point you're trying to make, and I'm not sure I want to know. <laughs> you continue to make your way across the plains <laughs> as your, your idle discussion continues. Toward the end of the day, you see the ruins of a church on the horizon. As you continue toward uh, the end of evening tw nautical twilight, it's literally probably a stone's throw away at this point. And you guys, are you betting down for the night? You think you're probably about a day from Salzburg. How close is that ruined church? It's uh, about a stone's throw. I mean, call it 100 yards away. Oh, so it's like we're like right on top of it. Yes. How, I, right I mean, there. I think how old does it look? Stay clear of that church. I've seen that before. I do not like it. You have? What? Dreams. Last you seen it? In dreams, I have seen that church. It's. You've seen this church? I think it was that it's church. It's exact one. I, I, I cannot be sure, but... Well... La last night, I was I was haunted. Hmm. I, I that was just Matthew That's getting under your skin. I, I, can, I cannot be <laughs> sure, but I, I would perhaps steer clear. Maybe... Maybe we should look at it. I, I'm not sure. What happened in the dream? Yeah. 
it's it's hard to tell. It, it was a blur. There was, I think there was other, there was magic users. There was something foul, beasts of different kinds. Mm. I, I am not sure. A warning or message? It sounds like we need to check this out. Or continue down the road a couple more miles. No, we need to go to this church. You want to go to the church? This is destiny. The gods are speaking to him. Do you get these kind of visions often? No, no. This is this is very different from anything I've I've dreamed before. I think. Hmm. Ask the girl if she knows about this church. Have you seen this church before? Or know anything about it? No, I I don't know anything about this church. No, I think we should take a look. Well, before we bed down for the night, we definitely got to take a look. Cannot mess with. Cannot How broken down is it exactly? Is it is it still somewhat intact, or does it or, or is, is it just entirely rotted away? Or is it just How ruined? What what level of ruins <laughs> are we talking? Is it just a wall about? there? Um, the it's slightly off your path. It's maybe a hundred yards stones throw from where you're going. Way off in the distance, probably another. 15 or so miles, you can see a slight glow on the horizon, and you suspect that's probably Salzburg off in the distance on a slight rise, but it's, it's, you could tell that it's a solid day's march. And so this is just a stone's throw off your path. It appears to have been what looks like the ruins of a, a church surrounded by a, what was once a, some type of wall, but the remains of the wall have completely collapsed. It looks like they had been relatively recently destroyed the remnants of the main building, or nave, as you might call it, is mostly intact, although it appears as though significant parts of the roof have collapsed. To the right, the exterior of the structure, standing tall, probably about 45 feet high, it looks like it fares a little bit better. Probably some of the some of the attached buildings, perhaps the, what's the term, where, the, where a priest might live, the rectory, if you will, like a rectory or something like that. Uh, that's attached to it. it. Seems somewhat in better condition, but clearly. So it, uh, looks, so it, went, so it was. A, okay. So it seems to have been abandoned fairly recently. All right. Let me get a closer look, and I'll just send my raven out. Okay. Take a look at what it. sort of creatures did you say you dreamt about? There was, there was men. I, th- I, th- I think there were spiders, large, different different sizes. The dreams were fleeting, and the, and the night was very restless. I, Spiders. I, I couldn't make much of it. I, I am very uneasy. I do, I do not think we should. Are you sure they were? Turn it forward. Uh, I hate spiders. What, what, <laughs> are you only assuming they were spiders because of they had multiple multiple limbs? From, or did you? I, I don't remember being caught in a, a web or. Anything like that per se, but so, something about it gave me that that feeling. I I can't place it. I don't. I I, I don't. We need to be wary. It's. Do you remember? Do you remember them being a specific color? No. 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 I must we also need us to remind you that we have a woman here who can't defend herself. Well, I'll check it out with the Raven. We'll see what this it is. This looks tougher than she is. But that's what somebody, <laughs> somebody wants us to go there, and if it winds up being evil, then we will stop it. All right. Well, let's see what your Raven sees. Your Raven takes off into the night. I'm sorry. This is looking at the figure. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? The new one. Oh the yes, new Jess's new figure. Very yeah, cool. Nice. Very cool. That's Painted cool. himself. Awesome job. Cool. Um. Your raven takes off into the night, uh, circles around it. Again, somewhat what you... Well, what the heck. Giant beast comes out, eats the raven. (laughs) We're not going there. (laughs) Can you move the minis? Go ahead and put the map away. We're we're good. (laughs) Sometimes evil's best left alone. Yeah, that one's pretty good. <laughs> well. Fits. Okay. So you guys are off to one side. Does eh, 
make off to that side, let's say for the sake of argument. Your raven circles around. You can see the nave itself and perhaps the apse and a bit of the altar. The roof has collapsed in. You probably can't see that room off to the to the far mm -hmm. side. You could probably uh, over here. He, he sees the structure that still has a roof on it. For the most part, there might be little holes intermittently in it. It is dark. Um, do ravens have like night vision? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I guess. I'm gonna say that he has. He sees better than you do for the, for right now. Is there any like? I think they get an advantage on perception checks dealing with vision. Okay. There's no lights or any kind of flickering. In my, in my recollection. No, he doesn't see any light. You go into the zone. Your eyes roll up into your skull. You see, everybody sees Balder suddenly like become one with this raven that who disappeared into the night. Yes. And and. Um, the raven goes like upwards of a hundred feet away from you, or however far, however far it can get away from you, and it, and it kind of circles around to look inside, and he, and that's kind of what he sees. Probably not that good because there's there is some yeah. roof structure there, if that makes sense. Okay, I'll come back. It, usually we regret saying this, but it appears to be empty, but I can't see much. I just see the main right. entrance. Do we have torches or anything like that? Do you know any light spells there, Simon? Uh, I, I have, I, I can give us light. I also have torches, but uh, I can give us light magically. Okay. <laughs> Cast light on them. I can just- Your you know, audio's muted. Right, light some torches. I don't have any light, but I have a sword on the shield, and I can make judges and boards, and that's the situation. I will. I'll, I'll cast to admit it. cast light on Ties' shield, and uh... okay. So your shield well, illuminates. Uh, very clever. Yeah, he can lead the way. <laughs> 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 now that you have the light, well, you, you, well, you just looks at his shield. Feel free to go first. Well, uh, I suppose I brought the armor myself. Always wearing my armor. Matthias puts on his helmet <laughs> and says, "On what it is." <laughs> okay, uh, put yourselves near the entranceway there, if you would. If you're going up toward, it's an easy walk through about knee-high grass toward the church itself. There is a path leading up to it, mm -hmm. and there is no grass. There with them? Yeah, they're uh, you're over there. Yep, yep, they're gonna. Is Morton staying with the girl? If you could back up that camera a little bit. There you go, so you can see them. Okay, looks good. The, um, the, I'm assuming Morton's going with you. Uh, he just, and yeah, she would, she wouldn't stay outside by herself. I mean, she probably she'll follow like, behind. She's, but... Yeah, she's not going to be like right up in the thick of things, but she'll be like, oh, she'll be I'm, in the back with me. I'm <laughs> not going to stay out here while you go in there. But, I'm not going to be right up near the front either, if you don't mind. Okay, slightly off your uh, the entrance. You see a set of uh, an entranceway to it. Mm -hmm. The entrance was once a set of double doors. Burnt out torches sit in sit in sconces on either side of the doorway. One of the doors is splintered around the latch and standing slightly open. The other appears to be inside on the floor. So you have a light source. Does anyone else have a light source at the moment? Uh, I mean, I have torches, but for okay. thematic purposes, I'll just ignite my hammer in green flame. Okay, very <laughs> thematic. <laughs> and I'm cooler than lighting a torch. <laughs> what do you guys do? Well, you know what? On, let's just pause there. You are watching the Carpathian Adventure on Seven Sided Die. We will be right back.
Some things you just have to wing. Welcome back. You're watching the Carpathian Adventure on Seven Sided so Die. The party is just outside, about a day's march outside of Salzburg. They are uh, camping for the night and have come across the ruins of a church and are going to explore it. And we rejoin the party in progress. Mattias just stepped away to go yeah. use the loo, I'm assuming. I see. He said he would be right back. And we'll just continue to motor march though. I have we'll a... use him as our shield and we'll push him in. There you mm -hmm. go. Check that room out. Go forward. <laughs> okay. So that that was the description of the entrance way. What are you guys doing? Does Walking it on in. Wait, 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 wait. Does it look like anybody's like is it dusty in there? Does it look like anybody's been traveling in here at all? Um, well the ceiling it, m much of the roof and the ceiling in the, this area, which you would call the nave, as you can see through the entrance with his shield and with his green flame blade, looking through, it, it looks like the ceiling is, is pretty much gone. I mean, there's portions of it on the sides and some of the beams on the sides, but so the weather has been coming in here. Right. So right. in terms of the surface of the floor in here, it, it it's, appears at a quick glance in the darkness, as far as you can see with the light, Mostly dry. Um, it was a pretty dry walk the past couple of days. Very dry walk yeah. the past couple of days. There might have been some morning dew, but that was about it. So it looks it looks pretty dry, but it, but when I say dry, it's not like it's somebody swept it dry. If that makes sense. It's because there's twigs and leaves. And yeah, and it looks like at a quick glance, lots of the roof had collapsed. Right. Probably more than the picture demonstrates. Lots of the roof had collapsed internally. And, and just just littered with okay. debris of of the of the roof itself and of the structure um, that whatever held up the roof above. So it, so it seems like more of decay than uh, that it was attacked. Roll an investigation check. Now I want to build an abandoned church. <laughs> Twenty three. Twenty three. You think it might be a combination okay. of both? Okay. Like maybe there was something that did something here first, and then afterwards there might have been some. How long ago would you guess that this had fallen apart? Uh, it appears to be relatively recent. Mm. Well, some of it appears to be relatively recent. Does it appear as though the battle damage was the result of an actual battle, or, do you, or does it appear to be a result of slighting? Help me out here. What is slighting? Um, the intentional destruction of structures and fortifications so as to deny them to the enemy. Hmm. Roll an investigation check. Hmm. That's going to be hard. How would you tell the difference between the two? This is the DM well, one asking. Would, one, one, would, one would appear more deliberate and... Uh, and planned with the, with the with the specific intention of of rendering it unusable. The other would just seem random. Um, roll an investigation check. <laughs> There'd be great that says Natural Screw twenty. You guys. Natural twenty. You think that um, so it was somewhat random in pattern, almost chaotic. All right. So, so it wasn't planned. Most likely something, something else. You don't see any. By something hostile to the to those inside. Let's just tread carefully. Let's see if any kind of holy symbols are on the walls or anything like that, or unholy symbols. Let's go in. Okay, you venture in. Who's and Mattias is leading the way with his shield and closely behind the green flame blade. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> are we close to any kind of towns? You think you're about a day's march from Salzburg would be the next big town that would be close by. So, uh, so a church is a day away? Or yeah, is it it's more a like small, a relatively small? It's a church, it's not a cathedral. Right. Yeah. It's a commitment every Sunday. Yeah, it is definitely a commitment. <laughs> All right. Perhaps it was just well, perhaps it was meant as a small monastery. We don't know. True. I've been to several monasteries, so it could be. It is very big. They could live here. Are we, are we taking this? Is that what we're saying? <laughs> could be the, so new, Justice the new base, to, base of operations. <laughs> Needs a little 
TLC, but... <laughs> like a video game, I just start throwing money at corners and it yeah. innovates. <laughs> <laughs> Dungeon Keeper. Oh, yeah. oh, that's an old one. Uh, I cast uh, Mending, 2010. The <laughs> there you go, Dungeon Keeper, Champions of the Sun. Okay, we got our episode name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, yeah, let's go in. Leave right, it away. Out. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm towards the back, so I'm not first. I'm not going first. Okay, <laughs> you venture into the main room. There are two sets. As you go through the entranceway, I'm with the girl. <laughs> there are two sets of deep scratches on the stone floor. Constantly with your arm around her. Of the door. Pretty front. much. I got. I got this. <laughs> she stays back with deep you then. Scratches. No, she kind of stays with me. With you. Okay. There are two... Deep scratches. How? There are two deep... <laughs> two sets of deep scratches on the stone of the door frame. The sets are intertwined with the... What do you call it? Lintel? What's the thing on the ground? Lintel? Uh-huh. The sets are intertwined as if... As if somebody dragged some something or some things inside. The marks do not seem to have been intentionally worked... Perhaps they were made by some dull or rough scraping against the stone. They are deep enough that they must have been made with some force. And this is on. Oh. It's as you coming stay, through. Stay lively, up. boys. Okay. And how about how how much light does your light spell cast? Thirty foot radius. Thirty, 30 foot. Yeah. Oh wow! It's bright. Okay. So, M Marius is not quite up to the altar yet, but he continues to, you continue to push forward toward the uh, altar? No, I think, I think you mean the threshold, not the lintel. The lintel is the top of the door. Okay, the threshold then. That's what, you, you are correct. That is what I meant. Uh, 20 yeah. bright, 20 dim. 20 bright, 20 dim. Okay, so you're looking around, you, you see what you see. The, the marks continue toward what you would call the apse and then the altar, if you will. <clears throat> it looks like whatever did this came from outside, at least I think. How big is the opening? And they dragged it in here? The opening's probably with, with two doors, um, probably eight feet wide. Okay. Yeah. And the doors were open in such a way that, they, that it looks like whatever did this came in from the outside. One door is busted and laying on the floor as you come inside. The other is hanging on, barely hanging on its hinges at the main entranceway. But, but, they, but the way that they are, but the way that the one that is busted is laying, it looks like it was knocked inward, not outward. Yes, right? I would agree. Yes. Okay. You could quickly make that assumption. Okay. So busted into the church. Something made a huge gouge in the floor here. Question is why. That would take a significant mm -hmm. amount of physical strength, or at least extremely durable and sharp clothes. You're both, as you're standing there all looking around, the room is filled with broken pews and remnants of portions of the ceiling. Most of the roof has collapsed. Everybody roll an investigation check. 23. Got an 11. 9. Natural 20 again. Okay. All right. Zyman and Mattias notice there are smatterings of dried blood on the floor. Mm. No body still, huh? How big? Right. They point it out to you. Like arterial spray. And it's probably about <laughs> like a four foot spray pattern. Well, that is not a good sign. So someone, was, someone was executed, most likely. <laughs> were ripped open yeah. had their head bit off uh, Matias this offers is a short for the poor sod who got who, who, uh, who likely died from losing all that blood you drop to your knee and you or however you do it and you offer a prayer and I'm going to uh, take take my familiar my, my weasel <laughs> and, and tell him Go look and set, send them off into into the dark to just keep an eye out to make sure nothing's sneaking okay. up on us. From so are you direction. looking through him or is he just on his own? He's just on his own. Okay. I'm, uh, he ventures forward. 
He trepidatiously he looks up at you. Mm, are you sure, boss? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> and, then, and then he gets the message. He's like, ah, oh, this is payback. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he ventures forth. Where does he go? Uh, it, it looks like there might be openings towards the rest of the church. Maybe kind of like up along this wall. Okay. Towards the back where, okay. we, where we can't really okay. see with and you the, can the hear dimness him, of the light. You can hear him moving yeah. around in there to the extent that I can make that noise. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check out. I'll go and check out this room. Okay, as you continue to move forward through it, your green flame blade illuminating the room. It's it's having to step over and around pieces of broken ceiling and so forth. Um Again, you see as you venture forward, you and your green flame blade illuminates about about the same, about twenty twenty. Is that what it is? Or? I imagine just a torch, probably what five ten or five. Okay, five. so it's not that far, but probably off in the distance, bright. you can see the scrape marks, and there's something just short of the altar. Something you, you something catches your eye, but you continue over toward that room toward the left. Um, as you're walking there, looking around the room, you see several broke, uh, several common items lying about, broken candles lie near. Suddenly your eye comes across broken candles lying near a leather backpack that the leather backpack itself has been torn apart. Um, sitting next to it, a small ornate mirror lies next to it, remarkably intact. Next to that pack as you pass it... I step on it. You step on the mirror? <laughs> I'll take a closer look at the backpack. Okay, it's... See if I can see how it was torn apart or something like that. Uh, roll an investigation like. check. Uh, 17? 17. Whatever it was, it, like, very rapidly clawed at it, if you will, and to okay. tear it apart, as if it was looking for something. All right, I'll um, take up... I'll pick the mirror up. Okay, you have a small, ornate mirror. And I will look at it. Okay, roll an investigation check. Or Better than a constitution What are you check? trying to, what are you looking, are you looking for anything in particular? Just looking at it. Okay. Not like, not like in a metagamey, like is this magic sense. I'm just pick it up and take a look at it. Okay, it's a very ornate. 17. 17. Um, you look at it and it was that, it's a, you think your, was that your intelligence? What was your intelligence? Well, if that was whatever, if that was your intelligence check, what would it be? Uh, plus three, I guess, or 13. Oh, okay. So you think it might be worth about 20 gold. Cool. Uh, next to the backpack, a few bits of moldy food remain. Um, a package of rations that have been gnawed and discarded. There are arrows, some arrows lying about as well. A shredded quiver and some moldy clothes scattered about. Hmm. Okay. You continue right. over toward that Far room on the right hand side, or rather, rather far room on the. Can no, I see that's the, the other side. Depends if fair looking. Tom wrote this in a rapid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna start. I'll come back out. Cre creeping <clears throat> towards here. the altar, I suppose. We've been in there for a couple minutes. What you find in there? Anything? Where are you going? I, I just moved up. Okay. More, you more see the scrape direction. marks. Next to, in front of Mattias, whatever was nah. something was there. Um, I'll come back out of the room. I'll show. Uh, I'll show Morton the backpack in the mirror, and I'll be like, uh, I'll let him know. There's definitely some nasty creatures were in here. Okay, in that room, strewn across the grounds were portions of the ceiling, bits of plaster, glass shards, broken bits of porcelain objects. On one side of the room, there is the remains on the about where that table is there that you see in the picture. The remains of an altar. Here? Yep. Okay, I'll, yeah. So I guess before I leave, I'll take a look at that. It looks like a Christian altar. Mm, kind of a... What are the side... What are the side rooms called in a church? There were the other praying rooms? Ads? Um, I, I think know. it's like ADZ. No, that's an ads. I thought you would just know. I'm not trying to test you. I'm just... Elves. Oh, I, I, Elves. I didn't know it. I'm just trying to. I can't remember. But that it's like Elves. another like, small uh, chapel. Has it been defiled? To has it? Uh, I want it. Uh, you're going up toward it as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Okay. I go so, to Simon. Simon. Get on her. Okay. 
She's like, it's dark back here. Zyman, do you have a light? Uh, yeah, I, I cast cast light on my dagger, so it's at least flying okay, at so, my side, so that she can see you, and yeah. she ventures Remember toward the light. Venture toward the light. <laughs> Go to the light. Nevin, Nevin, tour. Okay, uh, she goes toward the light. You look around, and you rolled a what? An investigation check. What'd you roll? Oh. What'd I get? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Um. It doesn't look as though it was desecrated per se, but what I, something did this to this room. Okay. But there's no obvious like other symbols or anything anywhere else. No, like correct. That. Okay. I'll point out the backpack to Morton. Let him know that whoever was in here was attacked. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I shredded that thing. We have to keep our guard up. I go take a look at the altar in the top. Okay, yeah, you as you move Martin, toward there, right? the altar, yeah. you see collapsed on the laying on the ground. This oh. the marks come to a halt. I'll wander uh, up there as well. The, the marks come to a halt on the ground. Those gargoyles. <laughs> Leave it to the Christians to be played by gargoyles. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> so what are they, just statues and that's where the marks end? Yes, this, the deep Ooh. scraping continues up toward where the statues, as if something had dragged these stone gargoyles that were probably, at a quick glance you guess, mounted somewhere outside of the church, that somebody had dragged them inside up toward the altar. And that's where they came to rest. Hmm. Let's take a closer look at them. I'm going to sit down and start uh, my ritual for detect magic. Good idea. <laughs> hey, someone's got okay. again. Yay. <laughs> um, how far does it detect? Uh, 30 feet. It takes 10 minutes to do it as a ritual. So if they're investigating while I'm doing it, I don't know. Or is that just, just anything in that down. area glows, or it has to be a specific? 30 thing? feet. 30 feet. Yeah. Why don't you give them the, uh, if you're going to do that, so, why don't you give them the, the mirror, have them hold that, just in case it's magical. Yeah, I would see if that's magical, too. Okay. I'll, I'll stand near them. Well, anything yeah. within 30 feet of you, uh, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object. Uh, if it bears magic, you learn the school of magic, if any. Okay. Um, Two questions, if I may. Yes, of course. Um, that is if I'm not interrupting anything. Yeah, go for it. Okay, first off, based on what we've found, does it seem as though this is a typical church, or does it seem as though this was a different denomination? Because with the distance from Salzburg, I'm almost convinced this might be Bogomil. It's a Bogomil. Um... Sort of like proto-Cathars, but from the Balkans and Eastern Europe. How would you know the difference? I'm just a certain iconography. Uh, rolling just, in. I'm okay. assuming that it's not, but it just it could give some context, and maybe I don't know whether it would make a difference in making an understanding what happened or not. Well, either way, I'm not gonna find out. I, have a, I got a five. I mean, okay, I'm not I, sure. I, I'm well versed in religions. If something stuck out to me, I, I would probably. I may notice it. And second, um, I assume that I'm near some of the scratches, standing where I am. Yeah, you're kind yes. of like standing right on top of yep. them. Yep, you're very <laughs> much so. So if I were to examine closely, would I be able to make a guess as to what kind of creature or rough ballpark as to what might have done this? I think it was these statues were dragged in. You get the impression, <laughs> at a quick glance, right in front of you, about so 15 feet in front of you, you see two gargoyle stone statues laying on the ground. They appear, the great marks sort of end where they do. And, and they just appear to have been discarded. Almost as if somebody was dragging them into here for some reason. And I just stopped short of the altar. Do you want me to hit it with my hammer? 
Better wait to see what he comes up with first. Yeah. Uh, you said it's 30 feet, you said? 30, within 30 feet, anything within 30 feet of me, so. Okay, so church. Uh, I'm lighting up like a Christmas tree. Garden. And where are you walking? <laughs> where are you, where, well, right now, um, where did you start when you cast it? Right there? Yeah, I, I, I sat down on the one pew that is not destroyed. And okay. Did and how, long ritual. Did, how long does it last? Uh, lasts uh, 10 minutes. Okay. So and just after tell I me cast you, it, I will I'll take it. At the moment, you don't see anything. But okay. tell me if you walk around at all. <laughs> I've Whoa. become holy with the aura around me. What about me. The, the mirror? <laughs> the mirror. Okay, I'll well, let me here. rephrase that. Uh, you do see Mattius, his sword glow. You see... Uh, the, the hammer glow. The, you see probably his hammer glow. Mm -hmm. You see... Like there might be things some in things in Morton's pouch. I don't know. Oh, my ring is glowing. Uh, uh, yeah, his ring is definitely I'll, glowing. I'll walk uh, up Mattius there. has something in his pocket that is probably glowing. Um... Your horse. Uh, <laughs> I'll show him. I'll show him the mirror and ask if he can see if it's uh, just a regular mirror or not. The mirror appears to be a regular mirror, very ornate, but a regular mirror. Mm. Mm. All right. Okay. It it makes me look particularly fine. Maybe that's its power. I like it. It is magical. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll I'll take a peek if into it. If it's magical, it's only because the glass is warped. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a peek into the, the side room that he just exited yeah, away there. So okay. Nothing behind. nothing happens. You guys are moving around in the dark. Nothing nothing yeah. nothing yeah. seems. Um, you see the same thing looking around the room. You see broken as you're approaching it, broken yeah. candles. You see the backpack that he had, had been mm -hmm. torn apart. You see the rations and the arrows, broken arrows scattered apart. And the, on the other side, that, that, that doesn't include the room that Balder looked into. It was Balder, correct? Mm -hmm. well, I think it's Balder, um, Morton, and now Zyman. Yeah. Yeah, nobody's yeah. gone over to the other side okay. yet. Or anywhere else yet, as best I know. Okay, so on the, in the wall opposite that, there's only one door? There is one door. I don't think yes. I mentioned it. But at the far end of the room, on the right-hand side, there is a heavy wooden door with cast iron hinges That's and a cast iron here? kick plate. Yeah. Yes. How do you even see that? Um, <laughs> Matias will approach that door and uh, see if he can investigate the door itself and perhaps it might, whether it might be more intact or less intact on the rest of the church. Okay. As you approach that door, just move your figure toward it, please. Somebody move it for him. Approaching the door in front of you, you suddenly see a corpse. Clearly, it was the body of a human male based upon the beard and the general size of the rusty chain mail. Next to the body lies a leather pack. Both the body and the... <laughs> Go ahead. Both the body and the pack are covered with tiny webs filling the crevices of the pack and most of the rings of the chainmail. A short sword lies near oh, the body's yeah. right hand. Between the body and the backpack, the hilt is covered with webs joining those two. Uh, Rajesh will immediately oh, no. uh, kneel alongside the corpse and offer another prayer <laughs> for, the, for the man's uh, soul to the end, uh, asking the eternal blue sky to take mercy on him. Hey. If he be worthy, that is. Okay, roll... Okay, just roll a d20, tell me what you get. Uh, 17. Okay. What is uh, everybody else doing? I will, uh... What is it? I want to stand what up is everybody the, else doing? I want to stand up the gargoyles, um, get a closer look at them, see if there's any markings. I want to check out the more. altar. Yeah, I was going to head to the altar and the gargoyles to see if any, okay, roll anything Morton did the magic. Okay, and... And um, and Zyman roll perception checks and or investigation checks and you roll a strength check. Right. These are heavy stone statues. I mean, oh, they're heavy. You got a fifteen. <laughs> Even with a five, I got a what is that? Fourteen. Ah, oh, you try it. <laughs> this is just you're like, uh, yeah, no problem. Zyman, help me out with this thing. Uh, it's <laughs> yeah. pretty heavy. I'm the one to help you. Yeah. 
Okay, where'd you roll? A little uh, I, 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 rolled, I rolled a one. I was clearly distracted by some of the iconography on the, on the walls of the church. <laughs> Morton, looking up, your eye catches the glint of something gold or brass in the wall. And where Ooh. you are, you're at the same place, at the same time you see Morton look to his left, right at the back of the church, literally in the center of the church, you did you note something magical at the back of the church, literally right in the center. So it's almost like you were oblivious to like looking around, but something <laughs> in your sense said, hmm, so what is that? In this area right here? Right in the wall itself. Right yep. Okay. Right there. Okay. You go over and you look at it. Yeah. I'll, sure. I'll, I'll, Examining I'll it closer, you note that there was a key wedged into the wall. Hmm. And it looks like it was in, not an afterthought, as if it was meant to be there. What school of magic is it? Yeah, is, is it the What's key magical school? or the... Just the key the... itself is magical. Okay. And it's wedged into a crevasse or... It's not a crevasse, almost like a, like a key hole. Mm -hmm. Key. Well, I'll, I'll take, the, take an action and see if I can decipher what school of magic it comes from. It doesn't have a school. It's just magical. Abjuration. Just magic. It keeps things locked. key, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just the key. Well, Darn it. you know what you got to do when you see a key, my friend? I'll grab it and pull it out. You pull it out. When you pull it out, a small crack in the wall emits a faint beam of light in a straight line, straight down the room. It goes all the way down the room. And it doesn't illuminate the room. It's just a straight beam of light coming straight out. I reach my hand up and put it in the beam. It blocks the light. I'll take my hand away. <laughs> the light, the light, light is there it. again. Aha. Um, I will search the walls how, for any other key. How big is the beam? Is it just like just the key width, and that's oh, it? Just like yeah, yeah, just like that big. If you put the key back in and turn it, does it click or anything? Uh, I'll turn the. I'll that. put the key back in and try to try to turn it. You put the key back in. It doesn't turn, but the light goes out. Can I search the walls for any other keyholes? I'll take the key back out. You go up there and you, you pull the key out. The beam of light shoots back across through the darkness in the, in the over the sound of the bugs. Perhaps try following the beam of light. See yeah. Where, does, see does, where it, it, where points at. does it end anywhere, like on the floor, or does it just go straight? It seems to go, at this point, with the doors knocked down, it just seems to go straight with outside. My, straight outside. With my high intelligence, I will use my mirror to show everyone that we have to bend the light. <laughs> <laughs> where, well, how do, what do you do? Where with, would you bend the light to? Shine the, the door mirror. over there? Maybe. Try I don't it. Know. Find another hole in the wall. Well, try taking the light and bending it and hit the door over there and see what it does. Sure. We'll do that. Okay. Well, meanwhile, Matias doesn't care about the the weird beam of light and is investigating the corpse. <laughs> okay, we'll get we'll get back to you. On. He's like he's like looting a body, and we're all like, oh, oh <laughs> this I'm light. Not looting. I'm trying to figure out whether or not I can identify. We're looking for the well of souls, you know. And trying to the well determine what, what exactly he was doing here. Lost or? So what exactly are you doing when you say you're investigating the body? Um, well, I'm looking for any identifying Creed. insignia or it, something that might be indicative of where he's from, at, at, what, what the make of his equipment, uh, what, what, whatever's in his pack. See, maybe anything about where he might be from, who he might be, what he might have been doing. Okay, so you are, you're just looking at him, in other words. Uh, looking, uh, perhaps shifting the, the mail and opening the bag. Okay. Maybe... maybe Looking at the sword a bit, but try, not just sure, not anything too much yet. Not just you broke up there. Not just what? Not disturbing anything too much yet, but moving stuff as necessary to get some idea of what I'm looking at. Okay, so you you're looking at it. The equipment is rusty, dried, spoiled. In general, it looks useless at this point. Um, you start to rummage around. In the armor, I'm guessing, and the, you, the in armor the pack. In the pack. Okay, in the Most pack, likely. the pack you find parts of a broken spyglass in a small leather bag, a small brass box inlaid with designs in pewter, and two parts of a wooden walking stick with a carved dragon's head as it, as its pommel. Nice. As your okay, so a broken a broken spyglass, you said? Yes, I did. 
a broken spyglass spy in a small glass. leather bag. It could be repaired if you wanted to. A small brass box inlaid with designs in pewter. It might be worth something. And two parts of a wooden walking stick with a carved dragon's head as its pommel. It looks like they attach together. Nice. That is very interesting. <laughs> Uh, Very interesting. Is the, can, can I see if the box has anything inside it? Um, you open it up, and it has inside of it. Sure, inside of it, it has a a locket, and a tiny um, tapestry, almost like a miniature tapestry. A miniature tapestry. Can I tell what the tapestry depicts? It's difficult. Oh, roll an investigation check. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Give me one moment. Investigation check. Um, natural crap. Hmm? <laughs> uh, no, natural wah wah. <laughs> Sound like a natural one. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be paying for all this later. I just. I don't know what you said. What did you say? What you roll? Natural twenty. Okay. Jeez. It appears to be a coat of arms. Natural twenty. Yeah. 20. Roger that. It I'm appears a, to be a coat of arms, and it looks like it's probably like a sub, um, a, a subgroup of, of the bishopric of Salzburg. Like not like a hot, you know, like as a. Um, Detached one of the t other families, if you will. A, a family from the bishopric, but not related to the rule to the to the bishop in, in specific. Yes, yes, like a yeah, exactly, an ancillary line, a lesser house. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, I will. Place the tapestry carefully back inside and see if I can open the locket as carefully as I can. Okay. And while you're doing that, you suddenly feel something crawling on you. And you you're not this big. <sighs> Spiders. Spiders. You just spread them out around Mattias. Mattias, a whole bunch of you suddenly feel things climbing on, on your on your body. As you're and you look down and you see spiders coming out of the crevices of this of this corpse, and some of them are on you at this point. Ah! Fireball! Uh, fireball! Uh, That's what I was just thinking. Fireball! I just got that. How many spiders? Are there? <laughs> I seizing my sword. I try to uh, the only the way way stay as violently as possible. Okay, you managed to brush off. And roll a d4. And tell me what you roll. D4. Uh, a two. You roll, you manage to brush off two. And three <laughs> of them get their attack on you, and oh, none of them manage okay. to pierce your you armor. You spider got your armor. You're like AC <laughs> bazillion or something there? like that, right? Yeah, no way. <laughs> Probably. Uh, depending on your, whether or not you can include my shield, it's either 18 or 20 more on so. Uh, it still didn't bite through. It doesn't matter. Okay, that. but you've got like spiders crawling on you, and it looks like there's more coming out of the corpse. I would be very interested. Back to know with the rest what, uh, of the party. People in plate armor back then did. Um, the spider uh, got uh, in. Uh, <laughs> they just let it live there. <laughs> well, they moved in. <laughs> is, he, is he making a commotion? <laughs> what is it? Is he making like? Do I notice like him? Like, <laughs> like, <"Bleh!" laughs> do yeah. I notice yeah, him? I don't out? think he would be. Coy about it. I mean, it's like spider. He's, right right. He's like, I will. I will just like accept it. <laughs> Except <laughs> spiders crawling it's on like, my. Chink, chink, chink. Yes, it's, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, uh, the rest of the party back with um, uh, Morton, Zyman, Balder. What are you guys doing? We're gonna try to bend the light using the mirror to okay. see to hit that door, and then notice this guy's going like this. And <laughs> okay, but where? I mean, what? Help me out here. I well, mean, we got the mirror, so the light will okay. hit the mirror, and we'll just kind of like turn it a little bit. Okay. Uh, 
What? I mean, <laughs> what are you pointing it at? Just the, the door key. in well, general? The door. Try the, the door. door. First. Roll a. I rolled a. Like a roll to hit. I don't. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you just gotta just take it, just slowly move it. Yeah, but he doesn't know what he's pointing it at. Oh. <laughs> Does it make sense? Or oh, if, you can't really see the door anything, yet. I don't. Okay. I mean, you're you're on one side of the room with a twenty foot circle. He's dancing around in front of a door with a twenty foot circle of light and spiders all over him, and you're up at a <laughs> keyhole. This is the, <laughs> you're all in like different zones, if you will. Does okay. Make sense? I'm trying to imagine this. Sure. My sense is dancing so much as violently brushing it and well, trying to get these things off with my sword. Okay. Maddie's, Maddie's, you gotta go to the bathroom. What are you doing over there? All I see is your shadow. Seeing us, uh, now that I'm seeing him dance like that, I'll go There's over there and try to kill them. Spiders kill the spiders. <laughs> okay, so go. you go over towards him, and by the time you get there, there are oh, no. that many oh, more. No. Uh, um, th- throw these, Throw these out on the floor. Over there. Uh, where you want them? Uh, just oh, around, uh, around Mattias in general. And you move over there. Boulder. I'll just start casting Firebolt on all the spiders on the floor. Okay, <laughs> Firebolt. Uh, I'll say you can probably get a cluster of... Roll 1d4. That's how many you can get in a cluster. Because they're they're tiny, tiny spiders. Yeah. But Are they they're, red? They're black? Or? They're black. Yeah, I'll, throw, I'll throw a Firebolt out there, too. Three. Okay. Uh, Okay, okay now. you turn and fire, send your firebolt out there. I got three. You got wow. three. I Roll to hit the three there. of them, please. 18. That hits. One goes down. Uh, I got Roll, three. Roll to hit all three. Oh. Just, so you got... Uh, 15. 15 hits. Another goes down. And 21. 21, three go down, you just, and the three of them just like sizzle and fry in the, in the firebolt. And then, what do you, how many did you do? Uh, I hit three. So in your zone of your thing, roll to hit. First one, 21. 21, it's sizzles and burns. 24. 24, sizzle and burns. 15. 15, just barely sizzles and burns. And you see a bunch of them go up. <laughs> And it's like six of them. Because I like bad spiders. <laughs> yeah, I could. It could be. It could be. Uh, it is one, two, three, four. Right. four. It takes six off of there. How many okay, there's you know? like okay on you. Now, Mattias, these Ten. these Don't spiders worry, sure come bites, bouncing away or bite, 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 biting away at you. And two of them managed to get up underneath, oh, so and just underneath the corner of your armor, and you can feel like one on the back of your neck. <laughs> and the two of them bite away at you, and you take a whopping two points of damage. Roll, roll a con save. Oh, <laughs> twice, twice, okay. twice. Uh, so let's see. Um, the, 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 uh, for, that's one of my proficiency. Okay. Levels. That would add a plus three on top of my existing constitution bonus, if I recall correctly. Mm-hmm. Sounds mm-hmm. good. Uh, so that's a, I got it a natural 20 anyway. Okay, right. You're, you got a hot okay. dice tonight. <laughs> and then on the other one? Uh. Or the other? On the other one? Two, yeah, two, I said two, correct? Yeah. Um, plus that's a 14. 14, and they are what, Tom? They are, where is it here? Yeah, it's, you're fine. You feel some poison rush through you, and you just brush it off. Ooh. You took two points okay, of damage. I try to uh, rip them off and stomp on a few. Okay, roll to hit. For want of a better way of doing it. Plus my strength and foot and uh, that fell. You're you're scraping away with the sword at your own neck, trying to get the (laughs) spider off. Um, uh, seventeen. Seventeen. One of them scrapes off onto the ground. You reach over and you stomp on it with your foot, with part of your movement, and yep. And do you have another attack? You do. Yeah. 
Uh, and that's a 29. 29. The other one mm, flops on the ground, but you still see spiders around you on the floor. Okay, the rest of you, what are you guys doing? Um, can, can, I back, can I back away slightly? Yes, you can. You get the impression this corpse is kind of infested with them. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to target the corpse I think directly. it's time to, time to burn the corpse with fire. Firebolt. <laughs> you firebolt. Does the firebolt Probably actually create best. fire? Yeah, it does. Some, no okay, object. so does fire damage, yeah. shoot. Uh -huh. Do you, do you do send firebolts at it? Yes. And that's a cantrip. You just get your light away. All of these... <laughs> it's like watching miniguns from a helicopter <laughs> blasting away at it. <laughs> <laughs> and this corpse just singes. Every six seconds. Maybe. Mattias is shaking his head like, so much for looking at this poor sod. <laughs> what, Mattias? I, I, just, I think he's just happy there's no spiders I, on. I'm just glad I managed to get the, the, the important things away from the corpse before we had to burn it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, assuming that there wasn't anything on the corpse that was important. Well, I'm assuming there wasn't because of the fact that the, 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 the body was infested with spiders and anything important probably would have been destroyed anyway. Okay. Well, at least I got the box, the, uh, the broken spyglass on the walking stick. Okay. Yes, you did. Yes, Those you did. might have some importance right. somehow. Just knowing the way my life works at this point. <laughs> everything, so everything has meaning. Nothing is a coincidence anymore. I'm not sure whether it's a blessing or a curse. <laughs> Alright, guys. Let's search the walls for any keyholes that look like this one. I'm going to check out the lady make sure she's okay. She's <laughs> like... Oh, what's going? What exactly is going on here? Uh, apparently, there was a corpse infested with spiders. It's quite nasty. Ugh. We may have overreacted a little. So you lived in Salzburg, <laughs> so you should know this church. Oh, this I, this yeah, I made a part of it. Yeah. Well, what's the name of the church? Um. Give me a second. <laughs> church of the spiders. <laughs> Church of the Spiders. Church of the Lady Law. <laughs> Church of the Spiders. You guys kill me. Church of the Spiders. Is, is, is the church to St. Sina Hegmeister? Hegmeister? Close enough. Have you, have you ever been here before or no? I mean, I passed it. It's seen better days. Yeah. Were the people who come here known to be stable? I mean, I don't know them personally, but I mean, <laughs> as much as you can tell from what someone looks like. I'm sure you've heard talk in the town. Sal Salzburg? Yeah. Salzburg's huge. Did you ever hear any rumors about this place? No. I mean, because people just don't come over and just destroy churches in the middle of nowhere. Agreed. Mr. If it's infested with spiders, that's it. Abandon the ship. <laughs> Unless this church was built over like a relic or something, and it's trying to, you know, its purpose was to protect it. Hmm, could be. Okay. I so like what are you doing? Treasure. Yeah. All right. So the spiders okay, so, are all gone. Uh, uh, yeah, for right. the most part. So if Matthias is going to finish checking the door, I'm going to look around the walls for anything that looks like the keyhole. Where are you altar. looking? By the altar. You well, I'm just kind of, I'm going to uh, scoot around the walls the looking. Uh, both of you roll a perception check. You're both you're up, both up by the altar? Or an investigation? I'm by the door. You're by the door? Okay, roll by the altar. Um, roll, uh, Balder, roll an investigation check. Ooh, natural one. <laughs> you, you don't see anything. Eight points. Okay. Um, looking at the door, you're at the door... Um, Mattias? Yes. Okay. At yes. the door. Um, at the door, there's a large cast iron lock on the right side of the door. The door appears to open outward and seems to have been better withstood the test of time and whatever happened here than the rest of the church. Um, in the center of the door is an hourglass-shaped red medallion. Hourglass shaped red medallion. Can I? <gasps> do, do I recognize that medallion, that symbol at all? 
Uh, roll an investigation check. I've seen it on some spiders. <laughs> Natural 20 again. You don't recognize Oh, don't be so upset about it. <laughs> but I'm going to fail so hard at something <laughs> critical. I just know it. But when, when Balder mutters, I've seen it on something, on some spiders or something like that, you, you <laughs> chuckle to yourself, and it does look... You look at it closely, and it almost looks like it was put on there as an afterthought. Like a... Like a warning, maybe. No. It looks inviting to me. <laughs> we should go in. Your idea of invitations are way different from mine, buddy. <laughs> Diamond, see if that key well, fits well, in the door. Just, just looks over, very, just turns his head very slowly and looks over at you. <laughs> just stare. <laughs> How about before we open that door, we take a look at these gargoyles and make sure they're okay? Get okay. another good look yeah. at them. Well, they weren't. Because they, they took, weren't glowing magically. <laughs> I know, but they brought them in here for a reason. Where are you, um, Simon? You're up there still? Maybe there's spider to turn. Uh, yeah, probably. Maybe in this general area. Maybe uh, a little oh, it's right there. Stop. Okay. Them in. You detect oh, magic from underneath here. the, or uh, rather, at the base of the altar. At the base of the altar. Okay, well, I will look down and see what is... What is... What is glowing? What is you see like the, some interest? It's, there's like the there's the the back of it. There's like a pant like a wall, mm -hmm. and something perhaps behind in, behind that. I will tap on it or, and see if I if, if I can discern some way of getting inside of it. it sounds what are you tap it? It might it, it might be a relic from yeah. some what, the altar. Yeah, or there there is something together. within this. Huh. Open it up. Yeah. I'll take out my dagger and try to shimmy it open. Okay, roll. Uh, just uh, roll like a. Yeah, sure, just roll. A Seventeen. Okay, you manage to you shimmy it a little pieces of wood pry away, but you pop it and a panel slides open. It probably didn't need that effort with the dagger, but you, you figure you're looking at it afterwards. But you're like, okay, <laughs> still worked. What difference does it make now? Inside, you see. Uh, uh, there appear to be several bottles. A couple of them appear to be broken, but three of them appear not to be broken. Oh. Sacramental wine? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> take, glowing? take the action. And they are glowing. To yes. try to discern what school of magic each of the bottles come from, if any. It if I doesn't tell. tell you what the school. Tell. Okay. But there's stuff written on them. Okay. Do you I will. I'll, I'll, I'll thoroughly check them over to see if I can... Do you speak German? I do speak Germanic, yes. Okay. One says great stuff. Great stuff. <laughs> the other says antidote. And the other says doubt. Doubt. Wow. <laughs> I'll take some of the That's great stuff. That's not ominous at all. I'll take some of the great stuff. I think I'm going to put my magic hut over here. I'm just going to huddle in here for the night with the girl. <laughs> <laughs> and my... <laughs> You know, and drink some rinky. And drink some rinky and just have some fun. You guys have fun. I'll be outside. That is like You'll the most disconcerting thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Doubt. 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 It's a bottle of doubt. Do you drink it? I don't know how you'll get it. Okay. See if that key fits this door over here. Just keep those written down, please. Yep. Okay. okay. Uh, all right. I'll. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Here. Here. Here's, here's the key. Uh, uh, I'll walk over and see if the key slides into that door. As it did into the hole. It slides oh. into the hole when you say the to that door. Into the, you mean keyhole. the keyhole. Yeah, the keyhole. It slides into the keyhole. What are you doing? It slides in. It's in. I'll, I will attempt to turn it. You turn it, and all of a sudden, the kick plate slightly opens up at the bottom, and oh, a no. horde uh, of spiders. Oh, no, not a horde. Ah! <laughs> Come pouring out <laughs> at you. I'm madness if he's still standing there. <laughs> there was a trap! <laughs> and they come pouring out at you, and let me see, some of them instantly come at you and try to attack you. <laughs> you're onto something with the light. Oh, so you're going to be throwing out some Eldritch Blast. You're onto something with the light. <laughs> trying to tell you. I told you. No, you guys did it. Okay, let me see, this will be enough for right now. Oh, man. Uh, one nat twenty. Give me a critical card for two nat twenty. Give me a criti two critical cards, please. And just 
three hits. So five saving, con saving throws, please. Five con, con saving throws? Yes. Yeah, double five. damage. So that's Good two con. points of damage. That's double damage. That's another two points of damage. Tom, um, you need a chronicle card for each spider. Four. <laughs> Um, uh, are you just, uh, they're all on him? So, well, that's, or, uh, well, I haven't gotten to you yet. Uh, so that's, uh, one, two, three, four, five, five six, seven, eight, eight nine, ten, eleven. Oh, oh. Eleven oh, points of damage and five <laughs> con saves. I don't like that. Okay, I, uh, eleven points of damage. Okay. And what were the con saves? I, I saved on, I got 18, 14, and then some real low ones. Okay. So I saved. I probably saved on two. Failed on three. <laughs> okay, you failed on three. I'll, yeah. I'll go with that. Yeah. That works. <laughs> uh, okay, so you take uh, so 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 points of damage. Oh! <laughs> and on Mattias, before you leap away, you get some uh, some spiders <laughs> leap up on you and yeah, start clawing. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> And They'll all be dead. <laughs> yeah, they will. And <laughs> one, two. You're so brutally tough. Two con saves, sir. Take two points of damage and two con saves. I can heal you. Um, Nineteen <laughs> on the first save and uh, an un, a non-natural twenty. You on the are end. fine. So just the two points of damage and some of the spiders are crawling on you guys and there's just like. Some more coming out, and the key is still turned in the door. What are you doing? Will you please turn the key back? Close the key! Close the key! Oh, I'm trying to turn the key. Okay, you're turning, you're turning the key. Okay, and uh, it's uh, it's their turn. They sit there. You got to try and move, or what else you can uh, do? I'm going to try to turn the key, and then I'll try to stumble back okay, a couple feet. Okay, you stumble <laughs> back a couple feet. They're going to take the reaction and attack away at you. One, two, three, four. Uh, and right there. Okay, and then they attack <laughs> away at you again. What? No nat 20s this time. And what's your... Uh, yeah, you're like AC 10, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> Easily bite. Yeah. Four. Four points of damage. Yeah, I think four, so. Uh, Just go four con saves. On Mattias. He leapt backwards after he turned the key. What are you doing? I'm going to be rushing as many as possible off of the You bird. see and, and gobs of Some them. Of you, you, you roll oh, an man. intelligence check. You know what? That shatter spells Roll an intelligence better. check with advantage. Why is there more? Intelligence with advantage. I don't have okay. it now. But they're all within a uh, 10 foot radius right now, so uh, I'll do it. I need to use an inspiration because I get the feeling that this is going to be important. Okay, you got a stack uh, of them here. I'm going to take one off the top. All my con okay. saves were uh, 18. Because I, I don't think You're a good. 3 is going to cut it. <laughs> um, okay, re-roll. And I got a 20. Okay, so you, with your re-roll and your, your mind pauses for a moment and says, hmm, I should brush these off. As you look down and you see, like, hordes of them coming out from underneath the door, you're like, uh, better yet, jump back. Or not. <laughs> Jump back. <laughs> jump back. Jump back. Then, okay. Uh, how, how close to the center of the, of the yeah, step back. collection is my comrade? You take four uh, points. Make four. As you jump back, they uh, attack away at you. You take four points of damage. Four by four are biting you. Make four con saves. Four con saves. Okay. This is going to be fun. Um, that's 24. <laughs> That's a 17. That's a 21. And that's another 17. All good. Okay, Isn't, nothing happens with those. And they're right. clustered on the ground right there. They seem to be trying to, like, move toward Mattias and Zyman. They're, you Let's can see this. them because of Mattias' shield, you if you shot. desire. Yeah. What are you doing? You I'm see going what's on. going on over there. I'm kind of taking the lady and moving her this way because I we don't want to get her. I am fire. going to cast shatter on the spiders. Okay, what's uh, how big of an area is that? Ten feet. Okay, so, so we put it right in front of the and door. I'm assuming these guys are farther back than that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got that. Twenty. Twenty. Feet yeah, I don't have so. that one uh, memorized right now. Because yeah, they would. <laughs> Otherwise, I throw one with okay. you. Okay. So it's gonna be. All right, so they have to make con saves. Spiders can do that. Okay. Otherwise, they, well, take, they, can. they take 18 right, damage. Minus one. 
They take 18 damage <laughs> or half. A half? Whoosh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Even if they all succeeded, it, they all just... Whoosh, 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 whoosh. All the little body parts, the little, little arachnid legs fall off. They break at every little limb. They fall off the bodies themselves. The eyeballs, to the extent that you can see them in the darkness and on their tiny bodies, fall off of themselves. And they just collapse into like this dust of carnage. Not dust, but like little broken bits. Almost like tiny bits of plastic spread out all over the floor. Oh, really? And the door is closed because you turn. Uh, uh, basically, a pile of broken uh, carapace. Yeah, that would be a good way to put did it. Did the shatter spell damage the door at all? Uh, did it damage the door? Uh, it probably did a little bit of damage to the door. <laughs> it broke the door open, and they're all coming out again. <laughs> it probably did a little bit. All right. It's a pretty sturdy door. You get how much damage would? It, what's the max? What, what would be the average damage that this? Three d eight. So I mean. Three d eight. So. Yeah. Um, the door takes an average. The door does have hit points. Uh, should you go that direction? The no, no, um, no, 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 it looks like scratches on the door at this point. All right, good. At least you know it's not so 3D. So I'm going to say it was probably like call it an average of probably 12 points of damage to the door. Does that make sense? Next time somebody wants a key okay. turn, they can do it themselves. We're going to go back to the other theory. And while they're standing near the door, I will shine the mirror and try to hit the keyhole. And they'll, if uh, Matthias will guide me to the, make sure I'm shining it. Okay, right Matthias kind of guides you. You're in the center, like about 90 degree angle from the light to Matthias, or to the center of the area to the door. And you shine it toward the keyhole. Nothing happens. All right. There must be something else in here. Well, that was a Hmm. Everybody search the room. There must be another way to open this door. Uh, this pile of rubble that is over here, is that a broken wall? Is that the ceiling collapsed down? It looks like it's it, like part of the uh, combination of both. <sighs> Somebody like climb up there and look through. <laughs> I climb don't up want to where look and look through. <laughs> climb up the rubble? Yeah, up the rubble. Is you could climb up the rubble. Yeah, sure. um, yeah. But the the roof does kind of, it doesn't, it's not like intact, like the edges, you know what I mean? Like, do I think that I can see into can you send your raven up and whatever and have a look in there? On the other side yeah, through sure. whatever that, you, that is. Yeah, you could, yes, of course you can. All right, yeah. I'll, I'll, so you, go, you try and scramble up there, just yeah. do a um, an acrobatics check. Or athletics check. One yes, of the other. Fifteen. Fifteen. You manage to scurry up. You climb up the top, and then on the other side, you see what appears to be like um, uh, a very tall building, um, about where you are, probably mm -hmm. about forty foot high. It actually extends above, um, probably just slightly above the height of the walls. It looks almost like part of a rectory or something okay. like that. To the extent that the roof is the roof is still there, the the buildings on that side, you look at them. There's like, it, it's not like uh, different buildings. It's like one building with like almost like somebody built one part, then added on to mm -hmm. it, and then added on to it again. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that like so there's a main structure with a roof, and then there's another structure that comes off of it with its own roof, and a, and then a, another structure that comes off of off of the main structure again with the roof itself. So it so, appears relatively intact. I mean, okay. you would have to like go up, find a crack, and yeah. weasel with your way down inside, which you could. I don't know if a human could, but your, your weasel yeah. might be able to. Can I? There's loose stones on the ground. Could I? Sure, there's I'm, I'm gobs of loose stones. Cast uh, light on one of them and kind of like toss it into the the darkness on the other side and see if. Anything catches my eye as it. Well, it doesn't go into down. another room. Oh, so, so it's, so it's, it's like outside. A, out yeah, there. it's like a another structure adjacent, okay. a, a, attached to it. Does I that make you. sense? Uh huh. Okay. Um, okay. It's not like it. It's not like an opening into it you. per se. I got you. Okay. Um, so it. Yeah, it's. I got you. It's just okay. gonna bounce off the mm -hmm. wall and kind of stumble back in again. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are you guys doing? 
You gotta search the room. We gotta I find, agree. We gotta find another keyhole. All right. Um, you don't want to take a look at those gargoyles one last time. You yeah, did look at the gargoyles. They look like statues, and and, and uh, examining them him. closer, it looks like you, you suspect. I mean, you've seen churches before. Gargoyles are mounted outside of churches, yeah, but they're not like having like a crushed spider in a hand or something like nothing crazy uh, like that. No, they look like church gargoyles. Okay, damaged though, like they've been scraped. Well, I mean, to the extent that somebody probably you suspect. Either they fell mm -hmm. off or were knocked off or dragged off or something somehow came yeah, down yeah. and then they were dragged for she some bizarre reason right across the floor okay. up toward the altar <laughs> to the extent that one would be intact at that point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're in pretty good shape. I'll, I mean, uh, they're still heavy as all dog. I asked the lady, do you have any rumors about this place and spiders or spiders in general in your area around here? No, not at all. <clears throat> I'll use the mirror and shine the light on the gargoyles. On the gargoyles, nothing happens. The light, the light points. The light comes off the off the keyhole. It goes toward the gargoyle. It reflects, or rather, to, toward your mirror. You position it. It goes toward the gargoyle. So you've pointed it at the keyhole and you've pointed it at the gargoyles. It's the top of the altar. If you clean it off, is there like a slot that maybe you could slot the mirror in that might catch the light? Uh, roll an investigation check. Uh, Thirteen. You. you don't find one. No, huh? Just a plain altar, nothing else on there? Uh, you haven't found one. Okay. All right. Well, I'm up here looking, so. All right. Interesting. You've got a magic light that comes out. Yes. Um. But it's got a... Do something. And are those pillars around the? Yeah, they're the like yeah, they're they're the remnants of pillars. Pillars are the remnants of pillars. Yeah. How f if I start walking that way, how far out does the light go? Where it's fine? It looks like, pretty far. Like it probably goes out a couple hundred feet. So it goes. It's bright. It's going out there. But it's almost very narrow. Almost like the equivalent of a medieval laser. Right. But not a laser, because, I mean, it w doesn't go forever, a laser. Yeah. Would actually, literally. So eventually it's just going to disappear yeah. out there. Unless it's hitting something all the way out there, but I don't think Well, so. I mean, there's stuff in the air that would cause even a laser to eventually... And how high up is it? Like... It's probably about uh, five feet off the ground. Five four, feet. Four and a half to five feet And the altar the goes up about three feet? Yep. With, with the spiders coming out of the door, when that was happening, it did seem like they were continuing to come out of the door? Yep. Yeah. I'll take a... I'll kind of take a closer look at the top of the altar and just look around. Maybe well, there's something else, check. something else about it that we're missing? I don't know. You know what? Wait a second. You can do this. You can definitely do this. You can add a D8 to that if you need to. Right. <laughs> we got a 19... Plus three, twenty-two. Um, you don't find anything at the moment. Hmm. What are we missing? We're missing something. What did that guy have in that backpack? The uh, the night that we incinerated. <laughs> a bunch um, of good stuff. Oh, you had a dragon uh, cane. Five last a. Small brass box of pewter inlay that contained a miniature tapestry and a locket and a walking stick with a top that was carved into the shape of a dragon's head. Out of wood? And made out of wood and uh, split into two halves that could be attached to each other. Now, how is the spyglass broken? Let me take a look at that. Yeah. Oh, I should have taken um, that's a good point, actually. Um, uh, I take out the spyglass to look at, to see what, in what way it was broken. Um, you look at the spyglass, it looks like it probably broke from just a fall or something like that. Okay. So like the lens is broken inside? Uh, no, just the, just part of the handle is broken. So you can look through it if you needed to. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Let's try looking through it and see what you see. Um, Matthias 
shrugs and holds the spyglass up to his eye to see what to see what he sees through it. Everything looks a little blurry from <laughs> where you're standing and in the dark. All right, but it's nothing weird or something like that. No. If you put Can it I in the around? light, maybe. See what the light does when it hits the lenses. Oh. I'm, I'm shooting in the dark here. Can I go and light the uh, torches on the walls while they're doing that? Hey, oh, there are no idea. torches on the walls per se. You said they uh, were burnt out. Torches. Yeah, they're burnt That's out. Bad. Okay, bad I mean they're they're kind of like. Yeah, sure. Maybe I'll use uh maybe what? I'll pick up the kindling we got on the I was the gonna say, why don't we catch some of the broken pews and let's make a fire in the middle of this place. <laughs> Light this Get it place nice up. and lit. Okay. We can do that. Yeah. Set a nice big old bonfire. <laughs> okay, you start building a bonfire with with no problems at all. And uh while you guys are building the bonfire, I will be right back and you guys are still on. I guess uh, you're the restroom. Maybe we ever point the uh, the light at the hourglass symbol on the door? Well, we didn't no. know the hourglass was there at the time, but now we do, and no, we have not. We haven't tried that. No, we, we we pointed it at the we pointed it at the keyhole after we we saw the hourglass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hourglass. So we could try that, or we could try using the spyglass and letting the light shine through that. Could. Could. See, I don't know. See what it does. I just don't like. What might possibly be behind that door? Maybe we just have to open up the door and get through. Well, that's just it. Yeah, you can't open the door. I mean, but yeah, you want uh, just the bottom opened, right? Yeah, yeah. and all the spiders. Right. I could, I could mage hand and try to turn it the other way. Just one way open the bottom and one way open the door. That's weird, right? I'd rather force it. You'll only cause more spiders to come out. Yeah, I don't want more spiders. It seems there is. So there is something with the altar. Any attempt to open the door in a way that was not pretty high on that door. Yeah, but I, I, I guess it's because I'm not looking for what I should be looking for. There's something with the altar. At least that's what I would do if I was. An what about on the floor behind the altar? I mean, Maybe there's something down not, there. Maybe. But if I were an evil lord, I would totally do that. I would just make yeah, you, know, <laughs> you have to open it this one specific way, <laughs> or you get cut, or you get, or you fall into into the pool full of sharks <laughs> with laser beams on their head. What do the gargoyles have to do with it? What do the gargoyles have to do with it? That's what I don't understand. Someone went to a lot of trouble to knock those things down and then drag them in here. Yes. They were using them for something. Yeah. But they got no magic. But they're not magical. And they just left them here. I mean, unless they're weighing something down, or... That tapestry. Maybe the lady might know what it is. Show it to her. She comes from this area. I am back. Sorry well, about it, that. Did I miss I, anything? I, no. I investigated it and it. Just talking oh, through some strategies. To me, he just like a an Asprey family from the Archbishop I mean, I suppose I could show her. Yeah, she might recognize uh, it. You never know. Uh, I walk over to Nibbin. I walk over to Nibbin, uh, I believe her name is. Nibbin Nobin Tior. Um, it's Nibbin. Uh, miss, <laughs> do you. I take out the tapestry and I say, uh, This is a tiny do tapestry. You recognize this. Um, I, I try to provide as much light as I can and say, do you recognize She doesn't thing? recognize it at all. So. No. Hmm. Well, from what I can tell, it's a minor family from the Archbishop Rick. When we light this bonfire and it lights this area up, is there anything on the walls, tapestries, anything, or is everything just ripped and broken down? Uh, there's some, you see some frescoes, some remnants of broken glass, some... Um, there probably wasn't stained glass in, in some places as remote as this, but there was some glass in the windows. Yes. You see that, obviously, you still see the light. It goes into your bonfire, depending on where the bonfire is. There's, um, uh, you still see the door the, with the hourglass symbol on the door, and you see what you see there, kind of. Nothing that shows spiders or anything weird like that. No, there's no desecration, if that's what you mean. And there's nothing on the gargoyles that's reflective. It's just stone. No. They're, they appear to be just okay. stone. So I still don't understand why they dragged them in here. The only thing I can think of now is to point the light at the hourglass. Okay, you point the light at the hourglass. Interesting. Re- um, you, who's near the door? No, we're about Let's bring the armored knight up there. Away. <laughs> okay, you hear the door click, and it seems to come slightly ajar. 
Matthias, you did it. Matthias! I actually did, <laughs> I did something involving critical thinking. I am... <laughs> Do us a not, favor. This is not a normal feeling. You've Open earned, the door if you don't mind. You've earned the honor of going the honor in of first. the door. <laughs> you've earned that honor. I still, uh, I still got. You can't refuse it, by the way. <laughs> uh, very, very cautiously, Matthias mm-hmm. creeps towards the door and slowly uh, opens it. Okay, the door yeah, opens I'm outward. I can't stop talking. Hello? You <laughs> notice, as you're looking at it, the door is slightly ajar, but no spiders are coming out. Yay. Yeah. Some, you slowly, I'm assuming slowly, pull open the door. Yes. Some light streams into an otherwise dark room. You could probably uh, uh, disregard that part. Yeah, okay, cool. Simon's over there going, kind of this Some light there. streams into an otherwise <laughs> dark room. You look inside? <laughs> we should take the door with us and just open it up and say, Do you look inside? Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. okay. A few months from now. Uh, 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 with, my, with my shield ready, I, I, slow, I carefully enter the room and look around. Okay. You carefully enter the room. Cobwebs crisscross the room, hanging thickly from the walls. Looking beyond them, this was obviously an otherwise ornate room with a 12-foot high ceiling and intricate stonework. The remnants of frescoes are readily discernible. Tiny black spiders are scurrying upon the webbing. There must be dozens of them, if not more. They scurry away as you enter. Why don't you take some of the flaming boards and start lighting these webs up? I think that's a wise decision. Yeah. Now I wish I had that. The, Somebody hands Mattias a flaming the, board, hands. and he oh, yeah, holds it. The, the webs yeah. quickly <laughs> melt away <laughs> as you apply the fire to them. The spiders scurry away from the fire. Many of them are caught in the fire themselves. And <laughs> Everywhere I go, I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> Let it on fire! Kill it all! <laughs> Uh, keeping the, uh, the, 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 the flame aloft, uh, Matias examines the room and see... Okay, so the, there's frescoes, and is there anything remarkable about the room? Is, are there any other entrances or exits? Is there anything in the room of note? It appears as though, on the far side, there appears as though there was another possible entrance or exit, but it appears as though it collapsed with the wall and the ceiling above. Immediately to your right, there is another um, another open, open, eh, not doorway, what do you, uh, open way, archway, archway, thank you, archway, immediately to your right, your right, about, <clears throat> let's keep moving, 20 feet. <clears throat> And is there anything in the room of note besides the decoration on the walls? Debris on the floor. If you rummage around, you see some um, Christian um, paraphernalia associated with... It looks like the room adjacent to most altars where you would otherwise have the communion wafers and the vestments and what have Ah. you at one point. Oh, okay. So this is where the... um Where the, uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> this is where the sacrament happened. Thank you. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Um, Let's keep moving, Matthias. Yes. Move, fo- move forward into the room. I, c- I cannot see past you. <laughs> um, uh, uh, moving in. Um, uh, uh, Matthias uh, moves further into the room. Okay, you move further into the room. You see a another that you see the the archway on your to your right now straight in front of you. Do you approach it or what do you do? Um, what what is it again? An archway to your if you had turned right as you went into the room, it would be straight in front of you. In we go. Toss a firebolt in there, see what illuminates. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, if this web is going to burn it, which is what you want anyway. 
I can cast light on a rock and throw it through the door. <laughs> Easy enough. I'm not sure what you're doing, boss. I'll walk through the archway. Okay. Balder <laughs> pushes past Marius Get out of my way. with your green flame blade into another. Yeah, okay. Oh no. Okay. Into another. I just want. Oh, so, oh, I. Okay, I know. Uh, I know what this room is. This is where the tabernacle is kept. The previous room. Okay. 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 So Balder pushes into the this room here, shielded from what little. Uh, rather. Said good. <laughs> the oh room is similarly dark. Oh boy. Though not quite. Uh, Matias. Well, Matias will follow, follow close behind once he realizes he got distracted. <laughs> okay. Though not quite as many Damn webs. Tabernacle. <laughs> though not quite as many webs criss crisscross this room as well, coated with a layer of dust and cobwebs. <clears throat> probably more cobwebs. Two stone yeah. gargoyles. Because I don't have any more figures. Ooh. Were there any more drag marks? Or are they just uh, in there? I don't see any yet. Ooh. Two stone gargoyle statues stand in the center of this huge room with a domed ceiling. The two gargoyles appear to be in a state of construction. To the right stands an ornate mirror. That's what you see. Hmm. Well, let's, um, let's check out that mirror. I'm seeing themes here. Spiders and mirrors. <laughs> yeah. It's a creepy theme. <laughs> yeah, we'll check out the we'll check out the one gargoyle. See if I see anything in it or on it. Middle of its construction. It's like half built kind of thing. Well, it's probably it's probably. Uh, close to a hundred percent built, uh, but it's in better condition than the ones that were knocked off the walls and dragged inside. Gotcha. If that makes sense. Okay. Let's check out the mirror. Yeah. Take a look at it. Well, okay. So you guys enter. The, everybody enters the room. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just push your figures into the room, please. Uh, how? And you're looking at the mirror. <laughs> Roll an investigation check. What is that? 23? 23. You see tiny spider cracks running through the surface. Not spider as in spiders, <laughs> but as in tiny little cracks. Um, and you also see the inside of the room. Are you doing anything? Yeah, how does the room look when you look at the mirror, like behind you? Is anything okay, different? so you're also looking at it? Yeah. You note two gargoyles in the mirror. Suddenly, as if from inside the mirror, they leap toward the inner surface of the mirror. Like as if they were coming Whoa. from inside the mirror toward the mirror itself. Oh. Then they leave the surface and disappear. Roll freaky. initiative. Oh. Oh, joy. <laughs> Natural one. Wow, I gotta... <laughs> I, was so, I am so scared by what happened. I just stumble backwards and fall over. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> okay. Oh. I got a 10. The bad guys have a... So what time we need you to get a 20, buddy? 19. <laughs> if you could put Ooh. opponents as a 19. We're going to have to pause here Boy. soon, but opponents are a 19. Ah, right, uh, hear the music. We're in trouble. <laughs> what do you got? Good thing Simon's got full health. What did you get? I got an 11. I got a seven. Okay. And we don't hit that long one to the gate. Matias, what'd you get? A ten? You got a ten. Yeah, I think you got a ten. Okay. And then I got a one. Okay. You guys game for one round? Yeah. yeah. Opponents are up. Opponents are up. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. The monkey's not an opponent, so I got one, two, I got five opponents. So uh, number one, ooh, the lady. Well, no, that would suck. Not okay. Oh. Well, she's More she's protect the lady. <laughs> protect the lady. Give uh, her guidance. Am I, am I nearby her? Uh, uh, so I can offer. I can I can try to use my. Uh, um, you know, if she dies, you get to keep whatever in the box, right? Yeah. <laughs> What is it? Nothing. Yeah. 
if I'm within, uh, if I'm, uh, if I am close to her, uh, my fighting style imposes a disadvantage on any attacks against her by the enemy. Okay, so two, two of the attacks would have hit, and I have to roll, uh, one of them, uh, uh, hits, and it, she, she has to make a strength save and fails miserably with a a three. Uh, she also, you see her take this, this claw, reaches in, scrapes at her, grabs hold of, actually, you don't see the claw. You see, like, this invisible, like, morphing thing just reach in and claw away at her and then it sort of something invisible is lifting her up into the air oh, crap and then oh, she suddenly drops ah! and she doesn't can bounce quite right that far huh catch can you her. try to catch her <laughs> sure why not Okay, you use your reaction to run underneath her body. Uh, roll uh, athletics check with disadvantage. Acrobatics okay, so, with disadvantage. So currently we can't see them? Athletics at They're invisible. Okay. Uh, it doesn't much matter because I got a 21 anyway. A 21! She slams into you. She still takes damage as she falls on top of you. Roll uh, another acrobatics check to stay. Was actually to stay worse with later. disadvantage. <laughs> with disadvantage to stay standing. He's very pointy. <laughs> acrobatics. Nice solid yeah. dirt on the ground. Or athletics. Athletics oh, with no. uh, disadvantage. <laughs> disadvantage. Just roll twice. He's take like the lower one. He's plate armor now. Like dented. You can't get it off now. <laughs> she takes from the fall. That is a that is a fourteen. 14. She slams into you and you collapse on the ground. She's laying on top of you at this point. Okay, but you seem, you think you might have broken part of her fall. Okay, the other one uh, and is... And his armor. Huh? <laughs> and his armor. Is at, uh, uh, two, uh, which is Maddie's from where they were counting. Okay, which is the other one Claw, claw, I mean, um, and flower, or dust, or anything like that. You are wicked. Uh, let me see. Maybe. Okay, a twenty-two does hit you. I'm sure. Um. Yeah. What? Okay. And you take uh, the other, t- the two claws that, uh, seem to. You feel something scraping against you. It misses you. You take fifteen points of damage. And roll a con saving throw. I have a putrid brown fluffy powder. <laughs> I'm sorry, not 15. You take um, 20, 23 points of damage and roll a con saving throw. I got this. Oh, you yes. Got I was looking through my potions. I have a putrid brown fluffy powder. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> Permanently turns one skin black. Does it really? <laughs> okay, and a uh, con saving constitution. Wait, so, okay. no, that sounds unusually high. What did I, I mean? I, so, no, that couldn't have been true. Uh, that's a 13, 13, eight. Uh, could have been right. That's a 21. That's another 21. 21. So you save, you take. Uh, Seven, seven points of poison damage. You should feel this poison rushing through you. Okay, that is your turn. Zyman, you are up. Mattias is on deck. I, I cannot see the gargoyles. No. You you can strike with disadvantage at them. They're like invisible. You see this like shimmer, shimmer like going by here and there. All right, I'll, uh, I'll go for fireball. On okay, on. just attack with disadvantage. 15 hits. Thirteen. Thirteen. You see the no. back the fire up in, back up into the corner. Into it, and that's magical. Okay. Anything else? 
Uh, I just backed up. Uh, Simon, Mattias, you are up. You are currently prone. You can stand as for half your movement. And she's like lying on top of you. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to to uh, um, I'll let I'll let her down, but try to stay for the stay between her and the gargoyle. Okay, so you kind of gently, I mean, to the extent, I mean, the gargoyles are flying around, to the extent you can, you put her near the, slightly near the entrance, and you stand up, and you still have a little bit of your movement left, and these things are swirling down and kind of striking away, and you can swing at them with advantage if you want. Um, Yes, I'll try to swing. You can with disadvantage. Okay. Uh, Number one. Morton is on deck. Well, either way, I got uh, my lower roll was a... That's a 23. 23. Let me see. One, two, three. It was not the one that Simon just hit. So you did hit it. Your sword connects with it. And it feels like it's connecting with stone of some sort. But your magical sword cuts into it. And how much damage do you do? Okay, uh, D8 plus 3 plus... Fifteen damage. Fifteen points of damage. And anything else? Uh, and, and, and can I use my second attack? Of course you may. Okay. Uh, with disadvantage. Um, okay, so... What a seventeen hit. Yes, a seventeen hits. Okay. And then uh, that one... That is uh, nine damage. Nine more points of damage. So I'm going to assume to the same one as you. You cleave into it very, very quickly. And it's still, as best you can tell, in the darkness flying around. I'm assuming that's it, Mattias, correct? That is it. Morton, you're up. Balder, you're on deck. All right. Morton kind of turns, grabs his loot, and takes a step back. You broke and with it. a spell, he goes pew grave and casts fairy fire in the center of the room in a 20 foot globe. Anything that's there will start to glow a pale blue light if it doesn't do a dexterity save. Okay, a dex save for each of them. Uh, what's the DC on the dex save? 16. 16. One save, the other failed. So one is going to glow. So one of them is kind of, kind of, what color is it? It's blue. He made it's it blue. It's kind of a bluish haze around it, so there's no longer, I'm going to say, it's no longer a disadvantage. No longer a disadvantage, you actually get advantage to hit him. Well, I would... Well, not, but it's up to you, I guess. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, it just says it can't uh, benefit from being invisible. Or can't benefit from... No. So it's... what? Read the spell to me, please, real quick. Each object in a 20-foot cube within range is outlined in blue, or any color I like. Any creature in the area of the spell is cast, also outlined in light if it fails a dexterity saving throw. Uh, for the duration, objects of the affected creature shed a dim light in a 10 foot radius. Any attack roll against an affected creature or object has advantage. If the attacker can see it, and the affected creatures or objects can't benefit from being invisible. Okay, good. So you have advantage on it. You see the one illuminated in blue. Thank you. Okay, uh, anything else? Uh, yeah, I'm also going to mummer a soft uh, healing spell on the great lady there. Okay, you s- <laughs> and <laughs> so Balder, you are up. I will attack the blue one. With the green yes, flame indeed. Oh, 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 does a 13 hit? 13, whoosh, you swing past it and you just barely miss it. Oh, it's advantage, right? Uh, the yes, one, with the advantage, one, yeah. yep. Everybody gets it? I'm assuming so. Wah, wah. <laughs> natural oh, one? I'll go for my second attack. Oh, wait, you gotta pull a fumble card, though, if it was a natural uh, one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, because well, it's, it's advantage, advantage, so it's advantage. So it's oh, okay, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. I'm sorry, my bad. Second attack, yay, 22. 22, yeah, it doesn't matter whether it's advantage or disadvantage, it hits. Yeah, we're good. Or, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's, uh... You understand that. Five, six, seven damage. Seven points of damage to the one outlined in blue, and that's the what type of weapon is it? Just the hammer. 
It's, it's a non-magical hammer, correct? Yes. Okay, seven. Understood. I thought it was... Oh, no, you had to put the I enchantment on magic it? on it, yeah. Okay, and that is Balder. Anything else, Balder? That is the end of the round. Everybody have a good time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll meet back in December. Is I, that I what did. it is? <laughs> I, it sucks. I hate You're it. You're a <laughs> Yeah, I had to do it. Uh, I'm sorry? I said I had to say it. Oh, I know. But I, I wish we didn't have the long sojourn in between, but not much I can do about it. So that's just the way, it, the perils of what we all do for a living. Uh, I hope everybody had a really good time. We'll start with, yes. give me a quick second while I'm panning this out here. Um, Mad, we'll start with Mattias. What was your highlight, sir? Um, uh, I have to say, just interacting with everyone again was fun, to be honest. Yeah, it was. Yeah, getting back into being moths yesterday. Yeah. It's nice to come back to this. Okay, yeah, it was it was good. I, I hope every, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about the long delay before. Are we going to see you? Now, I know school, I don't know when school starts for you. Are we going to see you? Our next game, I think, is September 3rd? No. August, what's today? Today's the 20th? The 20th. Yeah, so, I, yeah, I think it's September 3rd. Are we going to see you on September 3rd, albeit via Skype or... I mean, probably, assuming nothing, go, nothing comes up. Okay, cool. I mean, I, I certainly plan to. Okay, with your level difference, uh, 1250 on experience points, sir. 1250. Okay. And Dennis, what was your highlight, if you're, if there was one? I like the whole mystery, you know, I like the, the church and just trying to figure things out, how to get the door open, a bunch of people get eaten by spiders while I move all the way over to the side. I thought it was cool. I liked it. It was nice. I missed it. It's a little dark, a little dark, and not dark as in like dark, light or dark, but in terms of, yeah, it's interesting. Well, uh, I did write this myself, albeit stealing from different parts, but so hopefully it's interesting enough. Oh, I like it. Um, level difference, you're still yeah. level six. You might have popped, dude. Maybe. You popped. Uh, I did 2180, you got 2250 for the night. And I think oh, that takes think you it. to over 2300. You pop seventh level. All where's right. The, where's the ooh? <laughs> <laughs> Huzzah! Fourth level spells, <laughs> I think. <laughs> okay, enough of that. <laughs> quiet, quiet down, quiet down. Okay. <laughs> so what was that? Um, what's the total again? Uh, twenty-two fifty. So twenty-one eighty you had plus twenty-two fifty. Okay. Sir. Uh, Balder, what was your highlight there, sir? Uh, I like this little church thing. I mean, I feel like Balder's kind of come to a realization at this point in the adventure. When I was encouraging Zyman, it's like things do not happen for no reason. <laughs> I was like, from all the messages we've gotten from well, ghosts and spirits and... I throw out things to see if you bite at them. You guys don't, if you had just walked past it, you could have just walked no, past I'm it. No, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that it was like you baited us into it. I'm saying that... I, I, told, I told us to walk past yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I don't I think it's more of a balder after, Dude, you know, Borneth having lots of visions. He just feels like there's a deeper meaning to this stuff and we shouldn't Well, you did have it. a dream about it, so I mean... Somebody was calling out to you. So, I, like, Something. the way he was thinking about it is good or bad. That's why we're here. We should go and investigate this. Okay. 750 on experience points, sir. Ninth level still, correct? Jess, yes. did you have a good time? Absolutely. What was your highlight? Uh, I'll go, too. I'll go uh, uh, the, the, the glorious rounds at the tavern that fulfilled... Beard grip. Yeah, I read something interesting, <laughs> and I, I start, I'm trying to try and include some different things moving forward. I kind of like that. Uh, and and being being tortured by uh, some dreams in the middle of the night. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I you like that stuff. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, you're still level five, correct? Uh, I'm at 9,700 with what you gave me for oh, doing the mini, so oh, okay. I don't know where that is. Uh, well, we'll just That's say close. that I don't, it's close enough. Yeah. Okay, so another, so 9,700 plus 2,000 for your level difference, so level five with the highest level. I know, it's a lot, but you know, there, is a, there is a method to this magic. <laughs> close. Madness. There was a kit that was close. I'm trying to boost... Uh, 
fucked uh, people I'm up at the same time. And I'm trying to do it in a fair, a fair yeah. way, yeah. if that makes sense, while recognizing the You're contributions right of people. So 2,000 plus 750, like 2,750 on experience yeah. points. Yeah. Oh, everybody had a great time. Yeah. I did. I'm glad to be home. I'm glad that we got the game. I'm glad uh, I'm it's, on this is fun. I need 6 four, um, right? Yeah, six four to get there. You're almost there. So we'll uh, our next game will be September third. September third. So I'm looking forward to that. And then I don't anticipate anything. I'm going away for vacation, but it won't affect this game. It might affect yours in early September. But uh, but uh, I uh, I don't anticipate anything literally for the next three years in my schedule. <laughs> Woo! Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, my, my, yeah, my, my deployment, I, I was supposed to go away for a sojourn to a, a nice sandy spot in the world, and the government decided that wasn't necessary. So, <laughs> thank you for watching the Carpathian Adventures, or rather, the Seven Sided Dies Carpathian Adventure. Again, we would like to thank Sirenscape for the use of their audio sound effects. You did hear some of them in the background. That's www.syrinscape.com. Thank you, artist Yenu and Silky Noir for the terrific character art. Please patronize them by the at symbol Yenu Draws on Instagram, at symbol Yenu on Tumblr and Twitter, and patronize Silky Noir on DeviantArt. Please comment in the Twitch chat room. I'm sorry if we, we missed anybody. I just got, you know, I always get carried away and kind of busy. On Instagram, on Mixer, on Facebook, and on YouTube. While we do this strictly for fun, please let us know how we might improve the stream and or just improve. Lastly, um, uh, please like us on Facebook and on YouTube, and please subscribe on YouTube. I think. Thank you for to our subscribers. I think we're at like 225 on YouTube, 78 followers on Twitch. That's awesome, guys. We do appreciate it. For now, thank you for watching. Roll a seven-sided die. Uh, I look forward to having Brian and Kip, uh, Brian and uh, Mark, and uh, possibly um, Wyland and and Brad and, and or Dylan back again sometime in the future. Roll a seven-sided die, and have a good night. Thank you very much.